everyone welcome back i'm so happy you popped over to see what i am up to for everyone who is new here and sees me for the first time welcome my name is Iani, and i'm doing this all about christmas channel on this channel i keep it short you will find lots and lots of seasonal decor diys and daily decor diys so i hope you enjoy it and if you're not subscribed to my channel i hope you will click the red subscribe button and give me a thumbs up it would help my channel a lot to grow so enough talking let's jump into today's diy inspiration and for this diy we need of course our tumbler tile blocks we need our wood glue uh, you can use your glue gun but then your project doesn't uh, is as steady as it uh, supposed to be so i recommend just use some wood glue or maybe e6000 or something else but uh, glue from your glue gun is always a little bit tricky so but you can just try it of course uh, some bags, some paint at your choice and some brushes. These are the main pieces we need for this DIY. We are going to make a seasonal dresser. So we will see how this will turn out. The first thing we're going to do for the dresser is going to make a middle pieces. So we make a bottom, a top and two uh, in between uh, planks. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get six blocks like this and i'm going to glue them together so very easy just do a little line from the side and we only have to do it with five pieces number three and number four and number five like this so we're going to place them together and this way and we're going to make a nice line and squeeze a little in and we make a nice straight line again and again pressure and of course this way and we're going to lay it beside and make sure that you have a nice straight line we are going to make another one of six three four five six and we are going to do the same and again one and number two number three number four and a number five and again we're going to row them together like this it's very easy to do just give it a little pressure and again a nice straight line and we're going to lay it over here and again like this and give it a little Press and you see already the glue is uh, coming out but in a moment we are going to get our towel and we're going to wipe it away number four and five and six and this will be the last for the first um, bottom and this is one and number two number three number four and number five and again row them together and very easy this way and squeeze it and make a nice straight line so i'm going to get my wet uh, old towel and we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need so you see i just have an old piece of a kitchen towel and i'm just going to go over it and wipe away we don't need the glue and again make sure that you have a nice straight line so your bottom will be very nicely and this again wipe the glue away and again make sure that you have a straight line and again over here we are going to wipe away the glue and we make sure our line and we clean up our surface always so we don't stick to our placemat <laughs> so that's not a great thing so i'm going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes so all three of them are a little bit dried in in a couple of minutes i'm going to place this one aside and lightly this one and i'm going to do some glue on the middle over here very easy just do some glue over here and a little over here and like this and now we're going to place it down place it down and place this together and this one and we make a nice bottom of it we're going to squeeze it and make sure that we have a nice straight line again we let this dry at least for a, an hour and you see this is already one of the four we need of course i'm going to place this aside because this needs to dry and i'm going to go further with again six blocks like this 
and I'm going to make again three rows of six because we need four of these planks. So I will do this out of camera at least a little bit faster for you so you don't have to wait too long. already we have our little uh, planks for in between we have a bottom we have a top and we have two shells for in between our little dresser we are going to lay this four pieces away and we are going to make the sides and the sides are we need six pieces uh, of our sides so very easy we are just going to get some blocks what we're going to do we're going to do one, some glue in this one in the middle and on this one and we're going to place one block on top of here and one block on top of here so very easy just squeeze it and press it down this way and make sure that you get a nice straight line and we're going to do with this one the same and again like this and we're going to lay them beside on this way we're going to get a block we are going to do on this side some glue and on this side we're going to place it down and we're going to place this one over here and we take another one but we are going to do it in the smaller side against it this way and we're going to get again a block on this side and on this side and again place it down and place it against it and we get another loose block and we're going to do it this way so we get a nice little pattern in our sides because or else it will be a very straight side and I did already a dresser uh, which is also a couple of DIYs earlier I did an dresser you can find it of course in the playlist down below in the description box so if you want to see, and this more, that's more of a, like a smaller one, and this will be a more of a wider one. Again, we take one block, and over here, and we're going to place it down against here. And now we're going to place this one also against it, and we make one straight side like this. It's so easy to do, but it just gives a little bit more structure. I'm going to do the rest and you see it a little bit faster. And you see here, here we have our six sides of our dresser. Now we're going to go further first with the back side of the dresser so we place the sides also uh, on top of here we are going now further like I said with the back side and for the back side we need three times blocks of seven four five six seven and again we are going to do it very easy just do some glue on this one on this one on a number three number four number five and number six and we row them together again very easy like we did earlier and we're going to give it a nice straight line squeeze it and make and this is already number one so we make three of this one but a little faster see our three back sides and what we're going to do we are going to do them uh, this way and we're going to take two of the sides this way and one this way so we are going to glue them together so we do some glue on this side of the back side and we're going to do it on this side of course I have to get my arm 
<laughs> it totally twisted to show you. So I'm going to place it down and we're going to place, of course, in the same height. We're going to do the sides and we're going to let this dry. I'm going to do the other one the same with the other sides. So now we have the bottom, the top, we have the back side, we have the sides. So we are going to close in our dresser and later then we will do the drawers. But first we're going to do the dresser. We have one of the planks of four. We are going to place it down. What we're going to do, we are going to take our glue. And we are going to glue this part and this part and like this over here. And we're going to do a line. And this way, and we're going to go over here and here and just take little pieces also. And now what we're going to do, we're going really carefully, we are going to turn this over. And of course, we are going to place it on here, but on the back side, totally to the back. I showed you in a moment, but first I'm going to press it down. And this way, but I mean, I placed it flat against the bottom so you don't have an overlay you don't have a piece back you just do it equally with the back side and that this will be the front side so i'm going to again make sure that you have them in a straight line and also the side don't forget the sides and we're going to press it down and we wait a couple of minutes and then we're going to do the layer on top so we waited for a couple of minutes we are doing some glue again over here and over the line and then over here and we're going to go this way and again a little extra here and here and of course a little here a little over here a line here and here and then we already have it and we're going to place our next piece of of the four on top of here and of course we glue it totally square of the not square how can i say square at least a little on the back side you have a straight line over here and i have to press it down and this and this is equally and now we're going to get another piece of the sides like this one over here and we are going to do some glue over here and then we're going to turn it over over here and against over here and here and it's so easy to do and this dress is very easy to make of course we're going to turn it over again of course i have to be careful because he's not totally dried in yet and we're going to place it over here and again in a straight line again and press it down a little and we're going to feel if we have it on the right spot we need it over here and again and you see already this is already layer number two and now we're going to do some glue over here And again, and we're going to do this uh, after each other because later on I'm going to do on the top some uh, paint cans to make sure to give it some pressure. And again, now we do uh, our little number three, and we're going to do it this way in a straight line again, press it down, and we're going to do the last layer of our dresser you see and this one we're going to place it over here we're going to give it some glue again i know for some people this takes a little bit too long just go for uh, skip forward if you don't want to see how i it's done it's totally fine i understand go for uh, further and i'm going to place this one of course also turn it over i have to be careful because he is not totally dried yet 
and I don't want it to break. And of course, we're going to place it over here and make sure we have it in a straight line again. And this way, and we give it some pressure. And we're going to look every time it is looking and feeling with your fingers if you have the straight line so you get a nice back side. And now we close it up with our top, and it's very easy just to some glue again, same like we did with all the panels. And over here. And we go this way, and this will be the last. And then we're going to place some paint can on top of here to give it some pressure. Of course, we close it up. And this way. And we're going to fill with our fingers and we give it some pressure again. And this is how it's looking like right now. And I'm going to give it some pressure with, like I said, with my paint cans. And we let it dry for at least a couple of hours. And here you see how the dresser is already turning out. You see, this is the openings for our drawers. This is the side. And I'm especially happy with the side. It gives such a nice, different way, a different look. And this is the dresser I already made a couple of DIYs earlier. So I will link the uh, video, of course, down below. But if you want to make this one, but this is more like a smaller one. And now I'm going to make a little bit of a wider one and even a different one. So we will see if you like this one. Maybe you like this one also. What we're going to do, I'm going to place this aside and we're going to do our drawers. For our drawers, we first going to make from each of them the bottom. So we make three bottoms and it's very easy. We just take four of them like this and again four over here and like this. So I'm going to glue them together. So we only do on the side, on the one, the first one, on the one, on the first one second and the third one of course and then we're going to place them together again and again squeeze it and let it dry in and this is already one we're going to do the second one and this is number two and number three and again row them together like this make a nice straight line squeeze it and let it rest for a couple of minutes and then we're going to work away the glue. So we did it like a dry in for a couple of minutes and then we're going to go on the side and we do some glue again. Place it down and squeeze them together like this. Now you already have the first bottom of one of your drawers and we're going to make three of this one but faster. see here our three pieces of our bottom for our drawers and now we're going to make the sides and the back side and the front of our drawers that will be pieces of five or pieces of six so very easy just for each drawer we have two pieces of five and you see like this we are going to do them and we have pieces of six for each drawer two of five and two of six so you see already, and we are going to double this up, and this will be one drawer. So I'm going to do one together with you. The rest, of course, we do a little faster. So this is one, this is number two, this is number three, and a number four. We are doing a lot of counting in uh, this DIY, but for everyone who loves to make it and likes the step by step, so and this is already one, and now we're going to do this one of six. Two, three, four, and five, and six will be the closure up, and like this, and we squeeze it in, and we make a nice straight line again on this, and we let this dry in for a couple of minutes, and then we wipe away again our um, glue, but. I'm going to double up. I'm still going to make one of five and one of six, and that will be one drawer. So for the first drawer, I have my pieces ready. Two of five, two of six, and of course, one of the bottom. 
what we're going to do is very easy i'm just going to glue the piece with six i'm going to glue here i'm going to glue of course the other piece of six over here and i'm going to close them up with this two and i'm going to close them up over here and of course if you are doing it exactly against the bottom you will keep on this side and i show you that in a moment you keep a little piece over because the blocks are a little bit wider when you use them uh, vertical or horizontal so it doesn't uh, does uh, does a little piece uh, thing but i'm going to turn the drawer over and i'm going to do the back side inside so but like i said we're going to go for some glue on this side first over here and we're going to do it on this side over here we're going to lay it down and we're going to place it and we, before we place it we do some glue on this side and on this side and put it down and we're going to do the same over here we're going to do it on this side we're going to do it on this side place it down and now the only thing we need to do we need some glue on this side and on this side i hope i have it right but we will notice that in a moment if it <laughs> if it is correct or not so i really have no idea <laughs> I, am, I am still debating if i am going right or wrong so you will see that in a moment we are going to place this one over here we're going to place this one over here and again in a straight line and we're going to place to close it up we do it over here and over here and we're going to try to make a nice straight line and we're going to press it down this way and we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes and here you see our three drawers are uh, finished you see this is how they turned out and this is what i mean you have a, a little overlay because the blocks are never the same size if you want to do it if i do one sh uh, sh uh, shorter then you it doesn't fit anymore so uh, this is the way and of course you can sort this out if you want to uh, go with it but i'm going to leave it this way because i'm going to turn them in uh, this way so you don't see the back side this will be the front side what i'm going to do because this is not totally dry yet i'm going to let this dry but i'm going to start to paint already the dresser and later of course also my drawers I use my uh, sanding color chalk paint of sand color chalk paint because I love that. I really totally uh, into it uh, the last uh, period. So, and then if everything is in the paint, I'm going to turn the drawers over and I'm going to take them outside and I'm going to get my uh, sanding um, machine and I'm going to sand a little uh, piece off because uh, now they are really stiff in to get them inside of the drawer so i need a little bit of um yeah sanding off on the back side so don't worry if you think oh it doesn't fit it doesn't fit that's correctly because you need to turn them over like this and go with your sanding uh paper or maybe a machine i have a, a little for for me especially a little sanding machine so i can go over it and i it's very easy it only needs a little piece and then you can easily uh, do your drawers inside but first i'm going to paint everything and you see my color is just a little a creamy it's not totally cream color but at least it has a little bit of the green color so i'm going to do also the inside of my um, drawers with this of the dresser with my sanding color so just a little layer and the wood is still coming through because i like that so i'm going to paint everything and you see it a little faster and here you see everything is painted and dried up and now i'm going to go outside and get my sander and i have a sander is uh, also from the uh, lidl or lidl just how you call it you find the lidl or lidl anywhere uh, around the world so he was a very um well priced i think maybe i paid a, a little of uh, 29 or 40 euros and he, like i said he's wireless and it is really a nice tool for us as a lady to use so that's always a great thing you can easily have it in your hand 
so I'm going to get my sander and I'm going to uh, get a little piece off. What I'm going to do, uh, of course, you also can do it with some sanding paper. It only takes a little bit longer, but it is very easy to uh, use such a tool. So I'm going to go outside, send everything, and everything hope hopefully will fit then inside of here. And here, you see already, my drawers are fitting. Of course, I didn't close them totally because I didn't. I still don't have a knob. <laughs> so if I am closing it and I don't get it out, then I have a really a problem. <laughs> so I did send it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get some, uh, the drawer out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it over. I did uh, place a number on it because I send them on each and every opening. So this is number three. It's fitting over here. Of course, you can send as long as you want that they are fitting in every uh, every opening. It's also fine too, but I just did it one, two, three. So I'm always sure which one I need. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my uh, furniture wax and I'm going to give only the underside. I'm going to give a little bit of the furniture wax. And then I'm going to... Uh, get my piece of paper kitchen towel and I'm going to uh, make it a smooth surface so it gets uh, easier inside of your um, dresser. So I'm just going to do the top, not nothing on the side, only the, the bottom. So I'm going to take my time for it because I don't want to ruin the rest of my drawer. our three drawers are in some furniture wax and I think it looks very rustic and I think I like the bottom like this. What we're going to do because we need the sides and we need some knobs on here and now I have this kind of wooden uh, pieces but I am not sure if I really like it or not. I would uh, do two of them but I think they are really standing out much uh, too far so I am really debating if I just going to um, saw out the top of uh, this, the little ball, because I don't like it that it is, for me he's standing out too much, so I am really debating what I'm going to do, but you can choose anything you like which you want uh, on top of it, you can do a handle, you can do anything you like, but I'm still debating, so you see in a moment what I choose. And you see this is how it turned out, I just cut off uh, the top of the uh, little <laughs> because now he is more uh, shorter and now I like him uh, this way and I'm going to do it in the black color of course you can do any color and you can use like I said earlier you can do it in anything you like so I'm just going to give it with my marker uh, just a black coat but you can also do it with some uh, paint or spray paint it doesn't matter but I like uh, the marker because it works very fast and it is a very um, um, great to have on it. It just doesn't, uh, doesn't come off very easy. So I'm going to do this and I, all six of them. So I have my drawers over here and I did all of them the same way. The opening over here, this over here, so I have them in a row. So I get very easily, I can glue my knobs because I do the knobs also with some wood glue because I want to be sure that they stay in place because if you use your glue gun, um, for most of the time if you then you pull your knob off so what i'm going to do i'm going to place them inside and i'm going to do one over here and one over here and maybe if i can see without and this is one block you have here a half block you have here one block and now i'm going to do it between the one and the second one i'm going to place a knob and i'm going to do the same over here you have here a half a one and the second one and over here, now I only need to have them on one line, but then you can very easily measure out where you want to have them. Over here, now I need to see if I have them exactly in the middle. Over here, like this, and just measure out. And if you want to have it in another place, it's also fine too. This is just what I do, but you don't have to do it the way I do. So I'm going to glue them on top of here with a drop of wood glue. So I 
have the knobs on top of here, but you still can move them. If you want to be really sure, just take your ruler and make sure that you have them, all of them in a straight line like this. And you do here the same. And I have to be sure, I think this one needs a little... And see over here, this is the way. And now they are totally straight. See already, I place you a little bit closer. And you see, now the knobs are on top of our dresser. And I'm so happy how it turned out, especially the side, because it gives so much structure to your piece to do it a little bit different than normally. And of course, also the back side, if you do place it on a tray, is very nice to see. So what we're going to do, because I'm going to decorate it uh, a little for the Christmas season to give you an idea uh, what you can do with it. But you can do it for daily decor um, and I use this in my kitchen. So what I'm going to do, I always do the second drawer a little bit um, uh, open like this. Not too much, just a little piece. And the under drawer I'm going to do a little bit further. Uh, like this one, this a little bit closer, so we can do just a little piece inside, but not too much. So this is what we're going to start with. Just open the little drawers. I have here some Christmas greenery, and I use two of the same pieces you see over here. This are three, and this one, and I'm going to place one sideways over here and one sideways over here, just to let it come in and coming out. So this gives a little bit more of the green look, so this way. And later we do some berries with it, but now we're going to go on the other side. We are going to take also again two pieces of greenery, and we are going to place this one. This is, has a little bit longer stamp, so I'm going to go for this two, and I'm going to do one sideways over here, and the other one sideways over here. Then we get another one and we're going to place this in the middle just very low like this of course i probably need to open up the drawer a little bit more i have here a rolling pin it's a very small one it is uh i bought it on the market in germany so uh i don't know if you maybe children's uh playground maybe you can find it there in a store i don't know but uh, at least I bought it on the Christmas um, market in Germany. So I'm going to place it sideways. I have here, of course, some wooden spoons, three pieces. So I'm going to lay them together. I take one elastic band. And I'm going to do on the underside a little piece. I like to keep them together like this. Very easy just to make sure that they don't go anywhere and you open them up and you squeeze them tightly inside but not totally to the underside like this now i'm going to get my straws and these are just cardboard straws and of course i also do a little band on the underside not very heavily just only that they keep them together so this way and i'm going to work with it and i'm going to place one on the side over here and of course, make sure that the elastic band is always inside the door, or else it is not a really a nice side to see. And again, for this one also, like this. And we're going to place this one on the side over here. Of course, we have to get away with our spoons. And I'm going to go with under here and over here. And now you can place, I also have a couple of my uh, wooden sticks. So maybe I can use on each side one, so I have to be sure. I take the smaller ones, maybe one next to the, uh, your draw, uh, um, your, I don't know, your straws. I, I'm sorry, it just slipped my mind. <laughs> slipped my mind. <laughs> of course, I'm going to do one, of course, always over here. And I'm going to squeeze it in, and we make our draw this way. And this way and now we have our yeah how you call it here in the Netherlands we call it um, I have to I really have to think this is really bad <laughs> also garden 
of course I have to think about we call it a garde so this, this way you can stir your pieces uh, around so but this is also a very a small one and I also bought it on the market so I'm going to turn it over and lay one on this side and lay one on this I have to get my and this one over here like this and now the only thing I'm going to do I'm going to do some red berries inside so I'm going to use um, one like this there's two of the same I'm going to place one in the second drawer and sideways in this one and I have to squeeze a little to get it in of course and like this and I'm going to do now some red in the middle over here and just place it in it but you can do anything you like if you want to do it differently go ahead do whatever you think is right and now I have here now some other pieces of greenery and I'm going to get this out of each other and this is one Ikea plant uh, and I ripped it apart I just took everything off and I make a nice bundle of it so I can use anything I like so I take a couple of them like this and I'm going to do an elastic band around it and I can squeeze it in very easily somewhere and it gives an, a little bit more of a different structure than you have only your Christmas greenery and like this and I can place one maybe in the middle and make, always make sure that you have your elastic band like I said uh, inside because that's always an a rare thing to see if you have an elastic band outside and just move in and around it and just go over it and like this and we're going to place one over here and I have to be sure that I work it away like this and I'm going to do in the other one the same and then for me it's a finish but you can go as crazy as you want if you want to see more more greenery inside just go ahead and do more greenery and just go over it and I'm going to work and of course I have to be sure that I have it under here and this is a little bit how my drawer is going to look like for the Christmas season this is just an inspiration do whatever you think is right in the moment see the quick uh, quick impression And here you see the pieces what we will need I need uh, three blocks of the four because I am drifted this one and this were four for two euros and I got an euro off because they were in sale so they were 25 cents each uh, I use my tumbling towel blocks I use my wooden ending and this supposed to be was in a set for the fall season it's supposed to be a mushroom but I'm not going to use it as a mushroom <laughs> So I'm going to use some paint. You can use paint at your choice. I'm going to use my wood glue. But if you have another hot glue, it's also fine too. I have my cutting tools, my markers, my brushes, my scissors. And of course, the print. And you will find the prints that I use for these DIYs, of course, in our free printable in this description box. But also in my All About Christmas uh, channel. There you also find the link for the free printables. So let's jump into our DIY. Of course, we are going to do the first step will be the painting the blocks in the black color to give it a nice undercoat. So it's very easy to wipe away the, <laughs> the letters. So I'm going to do all three of them and I'm going to do them, of course, a little bit faster. Time while our blocks are drying we are going to get uh, our blocks and I'm going to do four blocks together very easy just do on the ending a little glue and we're going to place this one against this and this way we're going to do here a little glue 
And for the smaller blocks, it is the same measurement. You only get your standard a little uh, lower, uh, a little smaller, because your blocks are not the biggest, of course. But if you do a one size bigger, then it will be uh, much uh, too much. So it doesn't work that way. And I'm going to do on this one and on this side. And I'm going to place it a very easy, squeeze it in, and this way. And we make a nice little square. Just work a little with it, squeeze it, press it down, and we're going to let this dry in. In the meantime, while the other one is drying, I'm also going to make a second one, because we want the stand under it, we want it a little bit thicker, so that he falls a little bit more, yeah, I think it looks a little bit more better if it is a little bit more, um, it gives a little bit more body. I hope I say it in the right way, because for a lot of you who are new here, I'm from the Netherlands, so we <laughs> we always have for some things a kind of little bit different words. So I hope you don't mind, but I'm always doing my best. That's you have to keep in mind <laughs> that I'm doing my best to tell you step by step how I make the DIY. And this way, and we're going to let this dry also. So I let both of them a couple of minutes dry. I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to do some glue over the middle. And we are going to place both of them on top of each other. And you can choose if you choose another direction. You can do anything you like. I'm going to keep it this way. And I'm going to place them together, squeeze them a little down. And now we already have the start of our stand and try to get it as uh, close as you can have it. What we're going to do now, we're going to do four pieces of two. You see already I have three and now I have two. I'm going to do the sides a little glue and glue them together. Very easy. Squeeze it, press it down. We're going to do for this one, squeeze it and press it down. For this one the same and also with the in between of our standard it will be the same measurement uh, you use if you use the smaller blocks like i said it is only getting a little smaller so don't worry about it but if you want to go bigger you can go one block up but i think he will be too good big so this is of course already one and i'm going to do a second one because i want to have too high so i'm going to place this one aside clean up my service i always have an old kitchen towel which is wet so i can every time i clean everything up and this is three and this is number four of course we're going to do some glue and we're closing it up with this one and we're going to do here the same and now you can work a little bit in advance because then you don't have to wait and this one always and the last again squeeze it press it down and we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes so we have eight of our blocks the first we are going to need four of them what we're going to do is place them aside we are going to do some glue on one side on this one and we're going to place them together this way and very carefully and just squeeze them a little we're going to do a one on this side again and we're going to place this against this one and if you look correctly we're doing the same like we did with this one but in another version of course we're going to do some glue on this side and we're going to do it on the ending of this block so very carefully and if you look correctly you can place this one in and this one in so you can close it up and you have a nice square of course we have to squeeze a little with it until we have our own little square and this way and if we have it correctly we are going to let this dry in So we did let it dry in for a couple of minutes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do on the inside of the block, I'm going to do some glue. Very easy. 
over here and I do it on the inside so your uh, uh, glue is not popping out a lot. So we are going to place this on top and make a nice square. So squeeze a little where you want to have it, which is fitting the best. And now we're going to let this dry in also for a couple of minutes and then we're going to build it up. In the meantime, while this glue is drying, I'm going to make again two pieces of four a nice square like we did with this one for the top. So this is already one. And of course, for everyone who is taking this a little bit too long, I understand. Just skip forward if you don't want to see it. Of course, I hope you don't, but <laughs> I sometimes understand if you don't like to see it, how it is step by step made, then I understand that sometimes it takes a little bit too long of your time. So then go ahead. But like I said, I hope you will stay in you and just enjoy what you see. And if you have any comment of course i hope you leave a comment down below because i would love to hear from you if you're also a DIYer or a creator i am always very curious and if you want to make a uh, send a picture we would also love that very much to show us what you made because we can learn so much from everyone so we are just an amateur like the most of us are so but just you're enjoying uh, showing everyone what you can make with uh, this kind of blocks. And we're going to let this dry also. What we're going to do in the meantime, this one uh, is uh, will be uh, the under the bottom. We're going to do some glue on the top, of course, also on the inside. Try a little glue on the inside so it doesn't come out too much. And we're going to turn it over. And we're going to place it on top of here and this way and now we're going to look for if we have it in the way we want to have it and this way and we're going to give it a little bit of pressure so now we're going to do the same like we did with the bottom we just do some glue in the middle over here and we're going to lay this one again on top of here and to make also a nice top for when the block is coming on top of here. So and again, squeeze it and press it down and make a nice straight line. And we're going to let this dry in a couple of minutes and place it on top of here. So and now the last step of our stand, we are going to do some glue on this lining over here. Also again in the middle. And we're going to place this one. We're going to turn it over and place it on top of here and this way. And now we have our own cute little stand for our blocks. And it gives a little bit more like a unique feeling. If the glue is popping out, it doesn't matter. Get your wet towel. Make a little pencil in this uh, a li little bit wet. And just go and wipe away the glue you don't need. It's very easy. And you don't have to remove it later before you're going to paint it. And if you're going to do it in some wax, I uh, adv give an uh, advice, just uh, sand it a little because or else you get stained in your wax. So again, just go over it and let it dry. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give mine a little bit of the sand color. And I'm going to use, you see already, a little bit of the uh, off-white color. And I'm going to also do the, the, the knob which I'm going to use for on top he also get the same color so I'm going to give it also one coat and I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to cut out our prints we are going to need And our stand is drying. I'm going to get my print and I'm going to print out the letters for all four sides. I'm going to print one of the letters out. So this take a little of your time, but <laughs> don't be afraid. I will do it out of camera. Uh, you see already, I just cut out all the pictures and you see this is the Grinch. So this will be a Grinch standard with joy on top. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my block. I'm going to do some Mod Podge on here. Very easy. And I'm going to place my 
picture of course i'm going to try to stay in the block this way and just over here and over here just take a little bit of your time for it and i'm going to place my a letter of my little block over here and i'm going to place it in here and i'm going to press it down and make sure that we have it in the middle like this and you see already this is already i know you see it backwards but in the uh, if i film it off you will see the right way and i'm going to go um this side this side and on the back side and on the top and the bottom we leave open you see our letters are finished what i'm going to do i'm going to get first the letter j and i'm going to get the knob we are going to make and i'm going to glue it exactly in the middle with some wood glue because the j will be on top so i'm going to do a little of the wood glue i try a little drop there's more than enough and i'm going to try to get it in the middle just place it and we're going to look for that we have it in the middle then squeeze it down and we're going to let this dry in a couple of minutes so i'm going to get my stand uh, over here and i'm going to do some glue on the inside because the first letter i'm going to glue at least exactly on the square but you can change it up any way you like you don't have to do it the way that i do because everyone has his own own home and his own uh, imagination just do whatever you think is right i'm just going to do it the way i will do it so this is already one i'm going to let it dry in for a couple of minutes and so uh, <laughs> i was uh, trying a little bit how i want to have the rest of the blocks i was trying turning and uh, <laughs> did all the ways i could imagine but I didn't like it. So I am going to glue mine straight up on top of each other. But of course in this way. But you don't have to do it. This is just because I don't like it. I don't get it the way I want to have it. So I'm going to stack them uh, on top of each other to st uh, in the straight line. But do whatever. Like I always say. Do whatever you think. I'm going to do a little drop of glue over here. And I'm going to glue this one exactly in the middle. And this way and I'm going to squeeze it and make sure that I let it dry in for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to do that last one and of course later you see a quick impression and you see for this DIY we need of course our tumbling tile blocks some paint at your choice some glue and of course I use the wood glue, you can use some glue from your glue gun, some glue sticks, some brushes and these are a little bit of the main pieces we need for this DIY what we're going to make, we are going to make our own little tumbling tile block church so we will see how this will turn out, this is my first time so bear with me and I hope you come along for our church we are going to first make the bottom the bottom we will glue five pieces like this we are going to make five blocks and we only do on four on the sides we do some glue and on this side on this one and on the last one because we only need four with some glue we are going to place them together like this and we close it up with this one press a little make a nice straight line like this and again squeeze it and we get a little uh, of a wet towel and we are going to wipe away the glue we don't need of course you can also do it with a brush but it goes faster if, if you use and you keep it in place and just wipe it off with some uh, wet kit, old kitchen towel of course you use the, <laughs> you use an old one so it is very easy just and you go over it lightly and you wipe away your glue you don't need and again a straight line and we're going to place it on the side and make our surface clean again like this and we're going to get five blocks more we have away three for five we already have enough and we repeat the same just make again only four blocks and like this and this one and the last one and again we are going to roll them together like this in one straight line 
and we do a little pressure over here just give it some pressure and just make a nice straight line again and again take it together get your wet towel and wipe off your glue you don't need because or else it will be one big mess on your table and like this straight line and again we place it over here and clean up your surface as much as you can and we go for another one we are going to repeat this two times because we need five four blocks of five but i will do it a little bit faster So you see I have my four blocks of five and you see on one block I have a marker because most of the time in every package is one with a, a little mark on top of here. I'm going to use it anyway because I'm going to use it on the underside so you won't see it again. I'm going to place this one on the side, I place this one on the side and this one of course and I'm going to do some glue on this line over all the blocks. And I'm going to do it here the same. Do some glue on all the blocks. And again on the third one also. And I'm going to place them down, place them down, and place them down. And of course, row them again on top of each other. And now we're going to squeeze it and press it down. And make one nice bottom for our church. So, and again, we are going to let this dry at least for one and a half hour. We are going further with the sides of our church. For the first layer for the tower of our church, we are going to do four blocks like this. And because we want to be sure that our church is very sturdy, we are going to do it again, like I would say, with wood glue. But if you want to do it a little faster, then you have to use your glue from your glue gun because that works always faster. But uh, of course, you don't have guarantees that it doesn't fall apart. This takes a little bit longer of your time. But at the end, I think you will be happier because your church will go uh, with you for years. So... And if you make a neutral one, you can even use it for years. You don't have to use it for the Christmas season. You can use it for any season. So this is already a one. And I'm going to go again for the second one of four. And very easy. Just do on three of them some glue. And we already can make another four. Nope. I like this and squeeze and roll them together and give it a little pressure on this and we already have it finished and place it on the side again another one of four and this is so easy to do of course I do one piece together with you because the tower will be three high and I won't do everything <laughs> everything this way don't worry <laughs> This is just the under layer for the tower. So again, pressure. Give it over here and get your towel again and make sure that you wipe it away like this and make sure that you have a nice straight line again. Oh, and you see already if you are a little bit too fast, then it doesn't stick together like this. And only the last one. And this is, of course, again, three blocks. Oh, a little bit more. And a number two. And a number three. And we're going to get them together again. Like this. Squeeze it and press them. Like this. So, and I know I say a lot of like this. Don't worry. <laughs> this is just something I say a lot because... I am always most of the time to do two things together is telling you and just working it and I'm just just also doing it for the oh, you see already for the first time this church so I have really no idea how it will turn out so we're going to place them over here and over here and we 
here's a little bit more glue. What we're going to do right now, we give it a little moment to dry in and then we're going to make a nice, uh, almost a square. And you see here are our four, four pieces of four. You see, just very easy, like this, four blocks uh, in a row. And now we can make our own little square, but I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to make eight pieces of uh, four um, right now because then I can make uh, the tower in one piece. And I think that's better than I glue three pieces of uh, four um, like a, a square on top of each other. So I'm going to make again eight pieces of four extra so you will in totally will have 12 pieces of four but i'll show you that in a moment and i do this a little faster And here you see I have my 12 pieces of four. So very easy, just four blocks like this. And now I'm going to make rows of three like this. And I'm going to place them together. I think that's easier than I'm going to do everything apart. So I have to be sure that this one is also glued in the right space because he sticks out a little. And you see already, if I if he sticks out a little, it's always difficult to get them together. So I have to be sure which one is fitting the best. I'm going for this one. I'm going to do some glue over here. I'm going to do it over here. And we're going to squeeze them together. This is already one panel of our church tower. Like this. And we're going to let it dry in for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to go for another three and again look if they are fitting okay like this. I think ah, this is already very nice. So I'm going to do again some glue and I'm going to do the other one also but a little faster. So I do two together with you and place them together, squeeze it from the sides like this, press it down and again squeeze it and press it squeeze it and press it and you see here some glue coming out keep moving it and of course when you move it make sure that you keep your blocks in place so it doesn't uh, go out of each other and like this and now i'm going to do the other two You see here I have my four pieces. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the first one as my uh, underground. I'm going to do some glue on this one on the side. And I hope everything stays in place as long as I'm going to uh, have it finished to, <laughs> to dry. But we will see. And I'm going to place it over here on the side like this. Make sure that you have it in a square. And I'm going to keep it in place for a little moment that it can suck in a little bit into the wood and it can stand on its own. Now I'm going to place also some glue on this side. And you see here, of course, make sure that all the blocks you are doing some glue on in the middle. And this way, and we're going to place this one over here and also on the side on top of the other one. I showed you in a moment a little better, so I have to get it in place like this and make a straight line and I'm going to turn it over. You see, both of them are placed on the underside. So you lay, you lay down the underside, you place the sides on top and now we're going to do some glue on this side and we are going to close it up with the last one and again some glue. And we do here the same and here over here and now we're going to place this one on top and we make a not totally a square but almost like this and of course over here and we make sure that we get this nice straight line and then give it a little bit of pressure just squeeze it a little bit down not too much and again 
Feel with your fingers if you have still a straight line also on this side. Make sure that you have a nice straight line and if you don't, just work a little bit with it and again give it some pressure. And because the blocks are sometimes uneven, sometimes you don't get all the sides uh, right, but it doesn't matter if everything in completely is almost uh, straight. And again, I have to feel this way, I have to feel here and on this side. And now I'm going to let this dry. And you see, this is how our tower already turned out. You have three layers high. And of course, this is our bottom. So we already the front we can already place on top of here. We're going to place this aside. What we're going to do, we're going to take our blocks. And of course, I should have already cut them out. <laughs> it's up before. What we're going to do right now, we are going to do the side and the back. So we make one of four. So again, we do one piece of four. We make three blocks again, like this. And number three, this way. And we're going to row them together this way again. And we're going to squeeze it again. And make sure that we have them in a straight line, like this. This is already number one. And now we're going to go for one of six, so three, four, five, six. So again, very easy. Just do a line of five blocks because the six is always the close block. And number five. And again, we're going to row them together and this way and this way. And again, we're going to make a straight line. We're going to squeeze it in and make again a nice line like this. And in a moment, I will glue, uh, get away of the glue because I first I'm going to get all the pieces. And now the last piece of six. And again, five blocks. Oop, you see already, it's already coming out. Number two. And number three. Number four. And number five again. And we go over and we go squeeze it together like this and I'm already very enthusiastic with my glue you see already it's already all over the place but I will get my little old towel and we're going to wipe it away so again my old, old towel and I'm going to get it and I'm going to get away the glue we don't need like this and I'm always going to try it as I can to get them standing up for a little moment and also this one so I can clean up the surface I'm working on like you see I'm going to clean it up and now I'm going to squeeze again and I'm going to clean this piece off and of course I'm going to try to get it standing up and wipe away all the glue we don't need and then I'm going to lay it down because on the back side also there is some glue and we Try to get it as clean before painting as we can. And this is already one. And we're going to do for the other one. Also over here. And again, if not is not totally straight, you can still redo it. So this is already one and the last one. And clean it up again. So we have two pieces of six and one piece of uh, four. And that will be the side of our church, the wider side of our church. Our three pieces are almost dried in, so they're not totally dry yet. Most of the time, if you want to make sure, wait one and a half hour. But if your um, DIY is totally uh, finished, then I should wait for decorating it at least 24 hours, at least overnight. So you will be sure that your project is really dried up. What I'm going to do... I'm going to place my tower over here, but I'm going to do the tower this way. So you have here the smaller side. This is the longer side, and this is the side of four blocks. And I take the side of four blocks. I'm going to go place this on the side. I'm going to do some glue. And this is one of the sides of six. So I'm going to do some glue on here, place it down, and I'm going to place it against the side of this one. In a straight line and this way and I'm going to give it some pressure 
and I'm going to let it dry in. I'm going to place this one on the side. Be very carefully and do it gently. And again, give it some glue. Place it gently on the side so it doesn't break. But we have to do this now because or later it's difficult to glue. And again, squeeze it a little as you can. And now we're going to do some glue on the ending of this side. So over here. And we're going to do on this side the same. On the ending. You see here, I show it to you a little better just on the endings. And we go place it straight up. And we're going to place it against each other in a nice straight line. Work a little bit with it. And then give it some pressure on the back side. Be sure that this is also in the same straight line. And then let it dry in and then don't come uh, against it as long until it is a little bit sucked into the wood. So this is uh, uh, on drying. So I'm going to place this one aside because we need another top of layer above it. And I'm going to get my same placemat again and I'm going to <laughs> go further on this one. And we're going to go for again six blocks. One is first one of four again. The same like we did with the early one. So again, one. This is number two. And this is number three. So again, row them together this way. Squeeze them and press it down. And like this. And I'm going to wipe away again the glue. And you see already he's a little offline. And I have to get him straight. And I'm going to try to get him on the side. And now we're going to get for two pieces of six. Very easy. And again, just to glue five ones. And number two, number three, number four, and number five. And we're going to get them in a straight line again. It's so easy to do. It's just a, a matter of counting. And then I hope that at the end we're having our own little church, which you can use for any season. Especially my husband is enjoying always a, a Christmas church. So I think this one will be especially for him. At least if he will turn out right in our day. And I have to be sure that he is straight, at least as straight as can be. And we're going to place it on the side. Clean away. And we go for the last pieces of six. And... This one again, this is one, and number two, number three, and number four, and the last number five. So again, like this. And if you already made one church or maybe something like this, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear how you made it and what's your uh, ideas about it so just let me know in the comments if you like it if you don't like it it's also fine of course but if you don't like it and you this this taking much too long for you just maybe this is not your channel because i always love to show everyone step by step and even the mistakes because you see already i am totally into the glue <laughs> but it doesn't matter I always love to show you how the drawing is going and even with the mistakes and the things which are going right, I love to show, but it's not maybe everyone's cup of tea. So I always love as an amateur, just show you how it's made. So I'm going to get again, place them on this side down and clean also this one up. And we're going to place this one down. And we're going to clean this one on the back side, also a little, and this one the same. And then your paintwork later will be much uh, prettier to see. And like this. And now we're going to let it dry in for a couple of minutes. So my sides are dried in. I'm going to place them on my other placemat like this. 
and I'm going to do away this one and I'm going to get this one over here with the rest of our church. So we are going to do it very easy because what we're going to do, we're going to do some glue on the underside over here and we glue everything over here. The only thing what we do different is we doing on the sides of this one. We do some glue because we still need to glue and we're going to do it on this side on the longer pieces on the pieces of six and we're going to do it over here place it down and make sure that you have it in a straight line again and this way we're going to do with the other piece the same one glue on this side and we're going to do some glue on this side and you see i have it on both of the sides also on this side and i'm going to place it up here and again place it down of course i could have done it easier just do two layers already uh, down first and then glue it together but i was gluing this one together i thought i was missing something it's <laughs> Something is not correct. It is correct because I needed three, two layers. I'm going to glue this one, place it on the side, and I'm going to close it up with my last piece. And this way. So we're going to squeeze it in. And we're going to do this one over here and make a nice straight line again over here. And when everything is dried in a little, I'm going to wipe away the glue. So now we have the base of our church almost. I am still debating with myself because this is too high and this is three high. But I'm debating if I think three high, three high is uh, high enough or uh, if I'm going to do one layer with the uh, square on top. Because uh, I think for a tower he is a little bit too low. And like I said, this is an experiment. So I think I'm going to try to make first... Uh, again another square and then I'm going to look if I like it or not so I hope you do this also together with me so I'm going to place this aside I'm going to get my other mat again and I'm going to make uh, one extra because I want to be sure if I have it right or not so I'm going to also use the one with the mark so I'm going to again make four pieces uh, of four Again, like this, very easy, and, and this one. And I do one together with you, but of course, you did already the same earlier with the tower. So again, squeeze it, press it down. I make the other four now. So I have my four pieces again, of course. I'm going to do some glue on the side, on this side. And I'm going to place it over here, uh, like this, just in a straight line again. And I'm going to do with this one the same. Just do some glue on the side. And we're going to place it over here. And again, make sure that you have a nice line. Let it dry in for a little moment. And now we're going to do with this one, we're going to do some glue on this side. And on this side, over here, and we're going to turn it over and glue it on top of here. And we try to get a nice straight line. And with this, and then we're going to let it dry in for a couple of minutes at least. So I place this one at the side. I'm going to squeeze my mat in here. I'm going to get my, <laughs> my, my turrets over here. And I'm going to place it over. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do some glue over here. And I think I'm going to do the extra layer. So I, in the beginning, I told you when we ma made the tower, of course, I told you we made uh, 12 pieces of uh, four, but we are using 16 pieces of four. And then you have the complete tower. So don't make the mistake that I did. So... Uh, make them in uh, a one piece that's better than what I'm going to do right now because most of the time it is not totally fitting so don't make the mistake that I did just make 
uh, 16 pieces of four for this tower so you do uh, one of four here one of four here and here and here and then glue them together as one tower and don't make the mistake like i did right now so i'm going to try to get it over here i'm going to look that i can have it and i can place it down i hope it doesn't fall down on me i'm going to place it over here let it fall down and I'm going to work with it a little, but always when you uh, place one uh, piece extra, it's not always fitting the right way you want it when you do, do it at the uh, right time. Of course, I'm a little late. I should have done it earlier, but I still can do it. But of course, I should have done it earlier. I let this dry in and now I have the, uh, the right height for my shirt. So like I said, don't make the same mistake. So our church is a little bit like this. You see him now in totally. This is how he's looking like so far. What we're going to do, I'm going to place this aside. I'm going to take three blocks, uh, four blocks, I mean, and I'm going to make three pieces of four again. We are staying in the fours. And of course, I'm going to do some glue. You see where that this one is packaged is really bad uh, with measurement. I think they had a... A bad piece of wood because it is really <laughs> to get uh, frustrated about because nothing is you see already you you see this is going up and down I think they have a, a, a piece of wood which was this way he was not totally flat but he did this way it is really bad so I'm going to get four pieces like this because this will be the start of our roof and I hope I found an easy way to make a roof. But I don't know if this will succeed or not. So we just go it step by step. And you do it together with me. And you can do the, it better than I do. I have to make the mistakes. And you can make it in one piece. And then like this. This is number two. And squeeze it again. And you see already he's popping out. And the last of number four. And then I'm going to let this dry in also. And then I'm going to get my jigsaw because we're going to make one point uh, from the pieces of four. But I'll show you that in a minute because this has to dry first. And again, squeeze them together again and make sure that they stay in place like this. And I'm going to get my towel and wipe the glue away and let this rest. And you see already on my table are not three. But there are four pieces of four. So we need to make four pieces. But we don't need to make four pieces of four. Because I was looking and readjusting. And that's what you do when you do an experiment. And I'm going to learn it uh, all the way. Uh, I know that because I want one of the roof go this way. And one of the roof I go this way. So uh, the roof from the side of the church I want to have this way. But the tower to the side I want to have this way. So then I need to go with a uh, block. So you have to make two pieces of five and two pieces of four. So very easy. But I hope you can still uh, make them because I say it <laughs> the way I make it. So I'm going to do with two pieces of four. I'm just going to do one block extra. So on this side. And I'm going to do one block on here and this one on here and now i have two of four and two of five and then we have the spans of our um, which is holding our roof so again i let this dry in and then we're going to get our pencil uh, because we already can start with the ones with the four piece because they are already dried up and I'm going to get the middle, and that's not so difficult because it's only four blocks, so it's very easy to find the middle. We go for the middle to the ending over here, like this, with our uh, ruler. I'm going to go from this side to the middle over here, and I'm going to, to get it as exactly as I can because we need to get a roof on top of here, like this. So this is already one line, and I'm going for this line against this line so i'm going to try to get it and this way like i can show it to you in a moment 
how it's supposed to be. This is how you can sew it out. You just saw this piece off and this piece, and then we need the middle piece because we need uh, two pieces for the uh, the longer side of our shirt, and we need the five piece for the smaller side. So I'm going to go with the five piece. I'm going to the middle of the third one, and I'm going to go from this side to this side and from this side to this side. Very easy. Also, but you see it in a moment. And you see, this is how we cut out our four piece and I'm going to glue them. And these are the rest pieces. I always keep them because you never know when to use it. So I have two pieces for the longer side of our shirt. And you, I mean, the longer side is this side, the, the longer side. This is the tower. At least I call it the tower. I'm going to glue this one over here against the back side, just like this. And I'm going to glue this one at the ending over here like this. And then I let it dry very, uh, um, yeah, at least I think a couple of hours. So I'm going to get my glue. I'm going to do some glue over here. And I'm going to glue this on the ending like here. And I'm going to place it and make sure that we have a nice straight line. And I'm going to give it a little bit of pressure. And again, feel if you have it on the right spot you want to have it. Like this. And I'm going to do this one. Of course, also the back side. Because the underside is only a little uh, piece. So we don't can glue a lot on the back side. Of on the sides. We only do a little drop. And a little drop over here. And then we're going to place this one against the back side. Very easy, very carefully. And again, make sure that you squeeze it and keep it in place. And give it some pressure like this. And you see now you have both of them glued on the sides of your church. And we're going to let this dry in. And we are going to now make already the roof for this side of the church. And I need, I think, seven blocks. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he's leaning over a little bit. And I like that. So I go for seven blocks in a row. So I'm getting my seven blocks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the first seven. But we need, of course... Two of for one side we need two of seven. So this is one and number two, number three, and number four, number five, and number six. So the last, and we are going to place them together again like this. And we close it up with the clean one, give it some pressure again. And make a straight line like this. And we're going to place it. We're going to get two of seven again. Three, four, five, six, seven. So again, we're going to glue them together. Only six of them. This is one. And number two. Number three. Number four number five and number six and again we're going to place them together like this and we're going to squeeze it in and give it a little pressure and place it down and make a straight line and we let this dry in for a couple of minutes and then we glue them together so both of the rows are a little bit dried in. I'm going to place it on the side. I'm going to do some glue on the middle line. So over here, like this, over here. And of course, I need to get all the blocks. And I'm going to lay it down. And I'm going to place this one against it. And we make a nice straight line. 
And of course, this one is a little bit too long for the roof, but later when everything is dried up, I'm going to cut off one of the sides because of course also the other side. But uh, if I do it with loose uh, blocks, I never get the nice straight line for the roof. That's why I chose for just glue two, my, uh, seven, two of seven glue together. So you have a block of 14 and just um, wait until this dry and then we're going to make a line and cut it off. both of the sides of our um, church roof is already glued in of course it's not totally dry not ready to uh, get my jigsaw and saw it out because i want to get a little piece of here i don't know if i do exactly the half of a little bit uh, lower so i have to see about that uh, when it's everything is dried up so i'm going to lay it over here let it dry i'm going to make for each side of the tower i'm going to make a cross and I'm going to do it so easy. I'm just going to take two full blocks, very easy like this. I'm going to pull. I'm going to glue them together this way, and just squeeze them and make sure that you have a straight line like this. And I'm going to get two of the same blocks, and this is one third of a block. I always have a couple of, I uh, did uh, get a package of my Tom Metal blocks and I let my husband uh, saw uh, all the blocks in uh, one third of the blocks. It's a lot of work and I did it in an Ikea bag and I have them always laying around. So I'm going to do some glue on the side, on this side and on this side. Of course, I have to be sure that I have the, the right side. And I'm going to glue them on here, I think maybe this height, and squeeze it and press it down. And now we already have our own little cross we can use on our uh, church tower later. But this can already dry in right now. I'm going to make a second one because I want to have one on each side. So if you change your the setting of your church, you also have on the other side one um, cross. So again, one top with some glue. I'm going to place it and squeeze it together like this. And I'm going to get another one third of the block. And I'm going to look for that I have it on the same height. So I'm going to lay this over here and I'm going to place this block at least over here. And I'm going to look for, I think this will be almost the height so and again this one the last one and then we have two crosses which can dry and again place them together squeeze it and press it down and let this dry also so our two crosses are also already finished now we have the rooftops on each side on both of the sides for the longer version of our church and i'm going to get my ruler and i think i'm going to do as wide as my ruler is this piece I'm going to get off, so it's very easy. Just go a line like this. And I'm going to do here the same. Me measure out the thickness of my ruler. And I'm going to go over like this. And this other piece is going off and this one. So it's a little bit more shorter. So I'm going to get my jigsaw and I'm going to saw it out. But before I'm going to do it, I just showed you also a little closer. This is, is not uh, totally the half but I think a little bit like the one third but you can do you can also use the whole piece if you like a longer roof it's also fine but I'm going to go for a little bit shorter like this and here you see the pieces I just cut off I just did a little bit more like the half so and I'm going to get to this one I'm going to get my church I'm going to lay it down like this of course with the tower we are going to do it a little bit different because i should have done this later and then first make the roof with the uh, triangles and then i'm going to glue it on top of here but i didn't i it's already on top of here so what i'm going to do i'm going to do first side by side i'm going to do one glue over here and like this so i'm going to do it to the until the ending 
and we're going to do it until over here and i'm going to do on this side i'm going to do also a little bit of glue but i only the block above like this this one so not the other piece which we uh, did cut off but just this piece and now we're going to lay it over here and of course i'm going to make sure that we have it in a straight line and like this and this is how we're going to keep it in place for a couple of seconds until it is dried in so you see we have already one piece is glued together it's not ideal i uh, really it isn't i should have done this the uh, triangles later lay it over here glue one this way and one this way and then of course i showed you when we do the roof for the tower but we have to do with what we do because i just started it and i can't go back because wood glue you can <laughs> you can pull it out so i'm going to do some glue over here some glue over here and a little on the side to make sure that it sticks on the side of the tower of the church i found an easier way just to glue this <laughs> piece because i thought this was not working i just laid my uh, church on the tower side so now he can rest the roof can rest on the tower so this glues a little bit uh, better i took a piece of a dowel that's just a just a little round uh, piece of uh, wood and you can find them anywhere so i'm going to edit measure it out and i'm going to glue this inside just to fill up the uh, ugly side over here because we don't like that so i'm going to place the church a little bit up uh, straight up and then we're going to do some glue in between here and then we're going to glue it inside so i placed the church inside and what i'm going to do i'm just going to make a line with my glue on the dowel and just like this over here just a nice a line over it a little bit from right to left right to left a little bit more it doesn't matter you can later work away your glue and i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to place it in between and just make sure that you have it over here and let this dry in the first part of our church roof is drying we're going to now for the tower of the church and again we have here our two pieces of five we are going to get my uh, uh, pencil and of course our ruler and i'm going to get the middle of the middle block so i have to measure out of course he's i know that he is uh, two centimeters and a half like this and i'm going to go over and i'm going to make a line over here and i'm going to get it from this side to this side from this side to this side And you see already we have now our two pieces we need for our tower now we're going to make the sides of the roof of the tower and that is also very easy you can do uh, four blocks but i'm going for five to give it also a little overlay like i also did with the uh, other side of my church so i'm going to go for very easy five blocks like this so we need four pieces of five because we have two sides and this is one and this is number two number three and number four and again we're going to place them together like this and give it a little pressure and make a nice straight line again and we let this dry and we're going to make another three You see we have our four pieces of our sides of our roof we are going to do some glue on one side on this side of course i have to get it straight and i'm going to do some glue in this line i'm going to place it down and i'm going to place this one against this one and make sure that it sticks in place and we are going to do for this one the same also again some glue over here and we're going to lay it down and we're going to lay this one down and place them against each other and squeeze it and let it dry in you see already our two sides of the roof of the tower are already 
dried in, not totally dry. I give it always, most of the time, a couple of minutes, maybe 20, 25 minutes. And if I uh, have a little bit rollable spill, then, then I'm most of the time I'm going to do one and a half hour. But if you want to have it completely dried up, always let it dry overnight. But that's later. First, we're going to have two pieces. And I'm not going to cut off a piece of this side of the roof because I like for the tower a little bit of the longer side of the roof. What I'm going to do, because the side of the tower is uh, four blocks, and you see already four blocks, and I have five, because I want to have an overlay. So I'm going to do on the last block, and on this last block, I'm going to glue it on top of here. I'm going to glue it, and then I show to you what I've been. So first, I'm going to do some glue over here. And I'm going to place it over here. And I make sure that you have it in a straight line and not like me because I'm already gluing it on the wrong side <laughs> like this and I'm going to squeeze it and press it down and I have to wait until this dried in I show you in a moment so I did both of them on top of here and you see here I did one on the ending of this block and one on the ending of this block and that if you measure out you have three in the middle and you have uh, the fourth is in pieces and if everything is correct and i'm counting correct he has to be <laughs> still fitting on top of the tower and you see the first part of our roof is dried up and now you can see it a little bit better where i did exactly glued it so the only thing what we need to do is of course some glue on this side and i'm going to do some glue and I hope that he fits all right, because if you saw it, it's not always uh, straight. You do your best, but it's always difficult to get a nice straight line when you use your jigsaw. And I'm going to go and I'm going to place it on top of here. And I have to look for that I have it on the same spot like this. And I'm going to place it and Keep it in place for a couple of minutes and you see this is how it's looking like right now if i turn it upside down and of course on the top we are going to do a dowel but this is how it's looking like and now i hope he's still when we glue this he's still fitting on top of our tower so we will see i hope it works so but you see that in a moment and you see the church this is the the roof we just did and of course this uh, a way to do it is also fine it also works if you lay it on the side on the tower side like i did but this is also working so what i'm going to do i'm going to do some glue on this side of course i have to be some glue over here like this on this side and we're going to do it on this and try to do it a little bit on the inside of the tower so it always falls inside and we don't want to get it get it going away and again we're going to give it some room on here and i hope everything fits and you see i think he fits quite right so i let it dry for at least one and a half hour see, we have the roof on top and he is miraculously he is fitting for uh, quite nice and it is so easy to do you just saw me doing and i did it also for the first time what i'm going to do i'm going to take my glue and i'm going to go from left to right left to right like this on each block a little bit of the glue and now we're going to place our dowel I already did uh, saw it in uh, on the measurement I need and you get this kind of dowels uh, anywhere so I'm going to place it inside over here and I'm going to squeeze a little and we are going to let everything dry one and a half hour and here you see how far our church is already looking right now and I'm so happy with the result of course i hope you give this one a try because he is so easy and so much fun to make the next step what we're going to do before we're going to do the cross and we're going to do the bottom inside we are going to paint it to give also a little piece uh, rest on the piece we just glued so i'm going to paint it and i'm going to 
use this chalk paint, a little bit of the creamy sandy color, but you can choose anything you like. And I only do a cross on the this side and on the other side, but you can do some doors inside, you can do some windows, you can do anything uh, on the front and on the side, what you want. I keep it simple and neutral, so I'm only going to do a cross. But Again, go all the way and go out of it and do whatever you think it's right. Our church is almost dried up and also the bottom is dried up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it upside down. I'm going to glue some glue on the underside of the church and I'm going to glue it on top of here. But I think you already know how to glue your church on top of here. So I'm going to turn it over, like I said, go over it and I'm going to do some wood glue over it and place it on here. And you see already, he is on top of our uh, bottom and I'm going to let this dry, but also we're going to glue our cross. I didn't glue the back side because he is still coming on top of here. I do one on this side and one on the other side over here on this side. So I'm going to glue it and then for me he is uh, finished. But of course you can go all crazy and go all the way the way you want to have your church. But in a moment you see a quick impression. why we need of course our tumbling towel block some paint at your choice uh, some wood glue or maybe you have other hot glue uh, and your glue gun your uh, mud potch i have always my little cup with my brushes scissors uh, markers and colors and of course we need a print and we're going to need this uh, at least i'm going to use this uh, print and you find them like i told you earlier in our free printables so these are the main pieces we need for this easy DIY. The first thing what we're going to do, of course, we are going to make the feet of our signs. And we are going to do this very easy. We are going to take two blocks and two blocks. So we are going to do the tops to each other. Very easy. And if you're using the smaller blocks, you have three rows of three. So you do... This is two, you do one extra and here also one extra and then glue both of them together. So again, lay it on the side and we're going to glue this also and we're going to place it together this way. And now we have our own easy little stand. This is already number one. Of course, we're going to make two signs. So we need again two blocks. So very easy. One and number two. And we're going to glue them together this way. And I'm going to place this aside. Do some glue on the line over here. And then we already very easily have our own feet of our stand. And this is so easy to make. Now we're also going to glue the top of our uh, uh, sign. And of course the top will be two blocks just easily glued together so very easy this way and if you use the smaller blocks you need of course three pieces and again for the second sign we also make a top and this way and we're also going to lay it beside and what we're going to do we only need now the middle of our sign stand and this will be as she already with a marker and we are going to do Two rows of six, four, five, six, and here the same four, five, and six. And of course, for if you use the smaller blocks, you are not are doing uh, three rows of a nine. So very easy, three rows and then of nine blocks high. Glue it together like one big plank for the smaller blocks, and you have the same. So I'm going to do. And this is one, number two, and very easy. Do them together. Three, four, five, and number six is the closure up. Squeeze them, press them down, make a nice straight line again. 
And you can use this kind of sign so easy in your tear tray because everyone is always loving the trays. I also have trays always on in my home everywhere because it's so easy. You take it off and you already have everything gone. So I use them a lot and these are such a cute signs for placing in your tear tray. And it gives a nice statement and you can do any print you like. You don't have to use the prints uh, I use. You can do anything you want. If you want to use it more for a daily decor, this is for uh, Christmas. But you can do for any season at all. I'm going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes. So I did let it dry in for a couple of minutes. I'm going to place one of the two pieces on the side. Do some glue. A layer down again and squeeze them together, together very easy and you still can work with it so you can even fill up the open gaps and this way and now we already have a nice little plank I'm going to make the second one a little faster So all the parts are finished and I'm going to give them a coat of paint and I chose for the sand color but choose any color you like and do it a little bit faster. So in the meantime, while my paint is drying, I'm going to get my two little uh, prints and I'm going to uh, cut them out very easily. But of course, you don't have to wait for it. I will cut them out. And you see, I have here my prints and I'm going to get my Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge the front of my sign this way. Very easy. And I use this Mod Podge, but you can use school glue. You can use anything you like. I'm just going to give it a coat over it and I try not to spill out of the line because I don't want to have it on the sides. So only over here and I'm going to place my print in the middle. Over here I have to go a little bit to the, at least I hope I have it in the middle. I think I do. So I'm going to go over it and I try not to get mud podge on top of my print because I like that my print is a little bit more of the matte finish. So that's why I'm every time I'm going to go over it with a clean um, finger. But of course, if you like a little bit of the shiny color, then wait a half hour and then go over with another layer of mud podge. I'm going to do the second one also. It's a very easy. Again, just do some mud podge. And I think everyone already know how to mud podge their print. At least I think that everyone will. So again, go over it and try not to spill on the sides. And I'm going to do this way and I'm going to do the print. And again, I'm going to place it in the middle a little bit to the right I think I have it this way now I'm going to work out over here and I am really happy how he is fitting so <laughs> I'm really happy I'm going to let this dry in now are we ready to uh, get the sign together of course we are going to place it over here what we're going to do we have here one of the tops and what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this over here. I'm going to get this and I'm going to do some glue, very thin line on the top over here. So a very thin line over here. And I'm going to place it in the middle of our stand. And this way I'm going to and keep it in place for a couple of seconds. <music> 
So, and the last step of our easy sign is, of course, we are going to give it a stand. We're going to make, again, the same thin line, at least as thin as you can get, and this way. And we're going to place it straight up. Of course, I'm going to show it to you this way. And I'm going to place it exactly in the middle of the two blocks and squeeze it and press it down. And of course, I'm going to do also in a moment the second one, but I have to uh, make sure that he stays in place. So <laughs> I need a couple of seconds <laughs> from you. So um, this is already one. We are going to do now some glue also on the second one. And I'm going to glue this on top. And this way, of course, I have to show it to you. And I'm going to place this one over here. And again, on in a straight line, or else you have it not in a straight line, and there's not a great side to see. So I'm going to show you in a moment the quick impression also from this one. We need, of course, our Tumblr tile blocks, some paint at your choice, or maybe some stain uh, color. I use always my furniture wax, uh, my glue gun, of course, the wood glue and uh, brush and some glue sticks. These are the main pieces we need for this DIY. And what we are going to make, we are going to try to make from Tumblr tile blocks uh, a decorative book. So I hope I can make two books uh, for on my tray. So we will see how this will turn out. So the first step what we're going to do, we are going to make a block of seven pieces on each other this way. Squeeze it and press it down. And again, one line on the smaller side. And again, squeeze it and press it down. And this is number four. And this package is a nice package of blocks. Normally I have blocks which are always different sizes but the last couple of packages i have really i've been really been lucky because they are almost uh, equal so and this is already number six and you see some glue is coming out remove it immediately so they don't have later have troubles getting it away and the last block of course, you see, squeeze it and press it down. I think I have some, I already see it. I have some glue under my surface. So you see, then he doesn't squeeze real hard. And then he does stick out a little bit. This is already a one of seven. I'm going to make four of seven. four pieces for the front of our book and of course I will do the same uh, double it up um, for the back side what I'm going to do I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to do a thin line at least I'm going to try to make a thin line on here and just glue them together this way and I'm going to go for this one but if you have a better glue which is better than wood glue of course go ahead and just to use the glue you are used to. This is just always, like I say, an inspiration. And you also can do it with your glue gum. So again, place it together. And this one together. And this one. And I'm going to place some paint can on top of here. And I'm going to let it dry for at least one and a half hour. And I'm, in the meantime, I'm going to make the back side of our book. And like I said, in the meantime, while my uh, other uh, front side of my book is drying, I made already four pieces of seven for the back side. And I'm going to do the same, just do some little, uh, at least a, a nice line of glue over here. And just glue also these pieces together. So we have a front and a back side already of our book. 
and then we already almost have it inside of each other we don't need a lot of more things so this is already one and we're going to squeeze this one and we're going to squeeze this one and now we let it dry again also one and a half hour for the back side also you see we have the front and the back side of our uh, book and what i'm going to do, at least this is the size large book but, uh, later on we're going to make a smaller one but this is the fore and the back side what i'm going to do i'm going to take two blocks and i'm going to glue them together like this very easy just a very simple two blocks this way and we are going to make four pieces for it yes, so this is number two and don't forget to press it down i always call it every time <laughs> make it straight and make it uh, press it down so you get a nice flat surface and the last of our pieces and now we are going to glue them together very easily just do some glue over here make them together this way this is already one we are going to do the second one and you can also do this with some wood glue but this is just such a small piece so i'm going to do it with my glue gun and on here and again place this one also against it in a straight line and i'm removing the glue immediately this is already the in between from the uh, the i don't know call it here in the Netherlands we call it the rug uh, van het boek so it means the um, the side of the book where you are having your text on the side so i in a moment i show it to you and then you will know what i mean <laughs> That's better than I pronounce it. Now we're going to make again two blocks of two. This way. This is already one. And we're going to make another one. And we are going to glue also these two together. And like I always say, if you don't want to see how I make it, um, skip forward. I totally understand. So again some glue over here and i'm going to squeeze this one together also this is already one of the in-between sides and we're going to do another one for of course the other side again and i'm doing it now in the backwards way i see already so i'm sorry i did it uh, in a moment i did it in the other way but i'm going to do it finish this off like this is the same uh, way but uh, in a, in a diff, different uh, here we say different follow order so a different this is, this is what I mean and now again we have the second one I don't know how you say it in a different uh, like we say follow order but I don't know how you call it in English uh, let me know in the comments down below because I don't know how it is in English I have to look it up this is already one side, this is one side, and now we're going to make the front. But the front uh, can be three blocks and a little block. So I have to cut out a little piece. So I made again three blocks of two, do some glue in between, and I'm going to glue this also together. And then we're going to measure out how uh, big is the part we are still coming to short, because three blocks is too small so we need a little piece of another block so but i show you exactly what i mean this is the back side or the front side of your book we are going to place the four blocks of two totally on the ending it will be the back side of your book i'm going to place one over here i'm going to place one over here and then we have one of three because four was too long and now we need a little piece open over here so i'm going to go to my jigsaw and i'm going to sort out a little piece so i can get it fitting inside of here and here you see the two little blocks i need because we need to double them up so we are going to do some glue on the side and we are going to glue them together this way squeeze it and press it down and we are going to do some glue 
on this side I think I need to take this aside and I'm going to glue this one also on top of here this way and now we already have our book closed so it can be inside of here and now he is ready to glue everything together so we already have an uh, almost a kind of a crate box and then later we are going to do the top on here but first i'm going to glue everything so i take my wood glue and i'm going to glue the back side first so i'm going to do the thin line at least as thin as i can do it over here in the middle and i'm going to place it on the ending of the first uh, side of our book this way and i let it suck in for a little i think a 10 minutes and then i'm going to do the sides so i waited it a half hour so this could dry in a little bit he's not totally dry yet but he is a little bit sucking in what i'm going to do i did uh, place the side panels and of course the front of this panel uh, to measure out that i have on each side the same um, uh, space a little bit like this i think it is um, uh, one centimeter if i do it with my eyes i think one centimeter i'm going to take my block what i'm going to do i'm going to do some glue very thin on this side on this side and on the other and i already do it wrong because here on this side it doesn't have to use <laughs> some glue so i already doing it wrong so but i'm going to place it now in between and like this and i'm going to close it up this way and make sure that i have it in a straight line and i'm going to do this one also but i'm going to close it up in here so i'm going to do some glue on this side and this side can be both of the sides so i was a little bit confused with what which panel i which panel i had so you do on this side you can do both sides the glue and i'm going to glue it and i hope everything falls into place and i have to make sure that everything stays together and now i'm going to do on this side some glue only on this side and on the other side and now i'm going to place this one also in and now we just work a little bit with it try to get it fitting totally and take your time for it i'm sorry if i didn't speak to you uh, just take your time for it and uh, and that's the great thing about wood glue you still can remove it and you still can uh, change it up not too much because the wood glue leaves a lot of stains on your um, blocks at least uh, on my blocks uh, if you have um, a little bit too much glue then it comes on the block and if you stain it later with some furniture wax or with some uh, other pieces if you paint it it's not it's not a problem but only when you do some wax on it you see some white spots on it maybe you already saw a couple of spots on one of my DIYs I always try to send them off but it not everything works so I'm going to let this dry but before I'm going to let it dry of course we can do already the top over here and we do just very easy some glue a little line in the middle over here this way and we go over here because we can close it up and this way and the last row and now we can close it up with the back side or the front side just how you call it i have to make sure that i have it on the back side this way i think i have it on the 
a white spot so I can place my cans on top of here on this side one and on this side one and then we can let it dry for one and a half hour our large book is drying what we're going to do we need that time so the time we're going to use for making our uh, yeah, medium size uh, book at least a smaller book and I'm going to glue again seven blocks to each other the same like we did with the bigger one it's very easy again just seven and if you are going to make this DIY also you make this kind of books you can decorate it any way you like I am just giving you in a moment just some inspiration how you can uh, decorate this book or at least how you can um, um, make it uh, you can do it in a farmhouse style you can do it in a fall season style you can do it in any style I think I'm going to go for you won't believe it and a lot of you must <laughs> already thinking oh no 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 <laughs> what, what she's doing but I think I was finding this I show it to you in a moment and I am so excited to when I found it so I think I'm going to do it in this uh, um, theme but I know a lot of you must not think about, about it not yet so I will show you I found this kind of books I know you see it backwards but this is so cute little, little pictures uh, for the Christmas season so uh, I don't know maybe I am going to use this one but I'm still debating but I'm so tempted to use the Christmas style but we will see maybe I can help myself this is already one I will make the rest and we only need for the front side three pieces of seven not four only three I have my three pieces of seven and I'm going to do again some wood glue in the middle over here this is one and I'm going to do it on this side and we're going to place it against each other again and this also and we are going to let it dry again and I'm going to make now the front side or the back side just what you call it this one it doesn't matter so i'm going to uh, place some can on top of here and then we are going to let this dry and i'm going to make the second panel again also the other one is finished with three pieces of seven blocks very easy and i'm going to glue also this part together and then we already have all almost the same like we have with our first book so again place them to each other squeeze it and do some uh, something on the top uh, which gives some heaviness so and then you're already waiting for one and a half hour the front and the uh, back panel are dried up what we're going to do we are going to make again the insert of our book so I'm going to lay this apart and we are going to make again three pieces of two so very easy and we are going to do this way so just glue it together this is already one this will be in number two and the last is number three and then we're going to glue them also together again like we did with the other one just do some glue on the side and we're going to glue this one this is already one and try to get a straight line and the last again squeeze it and press it down it is already the back side we use and now we're going to use to double up again this one this is already one again and I have to make sure that I have it in the same length because sometimes I am a little off and <laughs> And that's not the great, greatest thing when you want to have a book this is already one now the other side we still need two and this is number one for the other side and number two for the other side and this way so and again we're going to glue them together 
already for this side and we are going to do it for the other side and this one number two and i have to remove a little bit of the glue so the sides and now we need the front side and the front side will be also two pieces and a little smaller one so one like this and squeeze it and press it down you saw already my blocks were a little um yeah, how you say it not totally flat but a little uh, off line and this one and now we need two of the smaller blocks because we do, we can't have a total block because three is too much. So I'm going to use a, my jigsaw and I'm going to cut off a little piece. So I have my smaller blocks to cut off. I'm going to glue them together like this. Squeeze them and press them down. And now I'm going to glue them also on this block. So I'm going to do this one together. And I'm going to squeeze it and press it down. Oh, I have some glue under here. I was already thinking, why is, is he not flat? But I see it away already. And I'm going to do some glue on this side. This way. And now we have all our pieces together. Again, I have all my parts and I'm going to glue them on top of each other. So I'm do, first I'm going to do the back side, a little line, a little line, a little piece of glue. In the Netherlands we call it lime. So I don't know, this was a mix of English and Dutch <laughs> together. So, But I mean glue. So I'm going to place this. I let this suck in for a little moment. I let the back side dry in for a couple of minutes. What I'm going to do, I did puzzle a little bit how I get it on each side, like we did with the bigger one. Uh, same uh, measurement on the side. So this is a little bit how it comes out. Now I'm okay, going to take my block. Again, some glue on the ending and not on the front like I did with the bigger book when I made the mistake. Just only this side and this side. And we're going to place it very easy on top of here. And make sure that we have it in this line. And on a straight way. And now we're going to take this one. And we're going to do one glue on this side. Of course on this side. And on the other side, because here we can do some glue, it doesn't matter. So we are going to glue this in between here. Make sure that you also have a straight line in the front. This way. And now we only need to glue this one. And this is one line and a one line here. And we're going to place it again on top of here and make sure also that we have this one in a straight line and glue everything together and because we only need the top we can very easily glue also the sides right now and i have to be sure that i have it it really um i can't say it enough and take your time for it because uh, that makes your DIY a lot uh, nicer to look at. So feel everything with your fingers that everything is in a nice straight line like this. And now we're going to do some glue on the ending over here and a little to the middle. And we're going over here. And we go this way. And the last row. And we already here. And now we can place the other top on here and give it some heaviness. I have to be sure that I have everything correctly to each other because you can't move it in a moment anymore. So I'm going to go make the top and 
let it fall over this way and make sure that you have it also over here in a straight line feel with your fingers and then we are going to place some paint can on top of here and now we let it dry for one and a half hour and then we're going to decorate them and here we have both of our books the bigger one the large one and the medium one and of course you can also go a one smaller because you also have books which are a little bit uh, the shape of this size so if you uh, place them like this you see already they are really looking like <laughs> like books what i'm going to do because I was thinking I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to do the top, uh, the front with some pictures and uh, scrapbooking uh, paper. Uh, what I'm going to do, because I was thinking the rest I'm going to do with some furniture wax, because I love the rustic old look. But you can choose anything you like. But I have the middle piece, which are uh, normally the papers, I think I need to give that another color than a uh, furniture wax so i think i'm going to try to get a little bit of the creamy color to paint it inside i have to be careful that i don't paint the rest so it is a little bit tricky so i will see what i can do but i think i need this uh, to give this another color i have here my white chalk paint what i'm going to try to do to give it just a little um yeah a lighter coat not a really uh, a hard coat so it so it is really a uh, white but I'm going to go for a little bit of the distressed uh, coat. I don't know if this will work out or not. Maybe it's one big failure. So we will see how this will turn out. So I'm just going to go over to give it just a very light coat like this. So I'm going to try to give it just, it looks a little bit like a paper. I have the in-between of my books uh, painted and a little bit distressed, but go ahead, do whatever you think is right. If you want to paint it in totally, it's also fine. You can do a gold color. You can do any color you like. What I'm going to do, I'm now I'm going to make the front of my books. And what I'm going to do, I use my scrapbook uh, pieces. You can make cards from this. I never made uh, cards. I did a lot of things, but... Uh, cards was not one of the things so I uh, just bought like I told you earlier three of this uh, kind of books and you can just easily get the pictures out and just um, mud potch them on top of your um, book or, or something else what you want to decorate and this is so much fun I didn't know I have already one box of my Ikea and I already turning everything off so I can easily go to every little uh, picture so I'm going to look for some pictures for on the smaller one and for on the bigger one and I can't help myself I chose for the Christmas uh, inspiration I know don't be mad if you don't like the Christmas yet so uh, this is just my privilege you can use any scrapbook paper you like or maybe any picture you like you can choose a uh, uh, out of so many uh, different uh, seasons so go ahead check it out but bear with me i love not i'm just a crazy uh pull with uh, some uh, christmas so i'm going for the christmas season and these are the pictures i chose for my books so i'm this will be a lot of work to <laughs> mod podge this each and every piece on top of here so i will do my best and then we're going to do the finishing touch and do it in some furniture wax but first we're going to mod podge this on top of here I have everything finished. I have here the pictures I want to use. It is so much fun. And of course, I'm going to uh, glue it with my Mod Podge. And probably the, the professional scrapbookers are, uh, are going crazy right now. The way I am going to glue it on top of my book. But bear with me. I do it just my way. Of course, there are much better ways uh, probably to do it. But I choose my way. So I'm going to take my pictures off. Like this and i'm going to start with the middle piece and i'm just going to do something i really have no idea what i'm doing i just need a couple of brushes so i'm for this one i use the bigger one so i'm going to mop watch this one in the middle of my book and you can go any way you like because uh, your fantasy can bring you everywhere you want because you don't have to do 
what's on the picture or how you must do it uh, or for your example i am just doing the way i think i like it but like i said there are so many uh, youtube sites which are having the most beautiful um uh, scrapbookers so if you like that go over and look how they are doing it because I don't think I am uh, really an <laughs> example for how you do your scrapbooking. So if you want to really want to scrapbook, just go over to them because I'm just doing something and I really have no clue, <laughs> no clue what I'm doing. So I'm starting with the base and I do that also with the bigger book. And I'm going to take now my little um, yeah, garland. And I'm going to take the smaller uh, brush for my two mud parts is on top of here. So I'm going to go over it and just dab it with some mud parts. Just this way and over here. And I try not to forget a little piece because it has to stuck really well. And I'm going to get it off. And I'm going to place it, I think, over here. I have to get it. And this way. And just don't worry, you can easily go out of your book. And this way. This is already one. Now I'm going to start with the picture. And I'm going to glue it over here. So I'm going to turn this over and I can use the bigger brush for this one. And I find a new spot for my Mod Podge because I don't want to get too much Mod Podge on the front side of my picture. So again, over here. And I'm going to clean up my hands and get it off. And I'm going to place it over here. This way. And just dab it. And go over with your fingers around the lines. I take the little guy and he is so cute and I'm going to fold my paper, kitchen towel paper and I'm going to replace my little mousse over here and I'm going to do some mud pots. And for everyone, like I said earlier, if you are bored to see how I do it, please uh, skip forward because I totally understand. But I do it for the people who enjoy seeing how I do it. Of course, I'm going to place this little guy over here. And, and this way. And I have a little package of letters. And I'm going to do some mud parts on the back side. And this way like this and i'm going to place it in front of the little basket over here and again dab it and now we are going to give it some words and i chose for oh christmas tree oh christmas tree and i have two of them like the song and i start with the, the bigger one and i know you see this word backwards because that's just my telephone don't worry in a moment you see it the right way and i'm going to get the smaller brush and i'm going to place it on top of here and just do some mud parts over here and this side and i'm going to get my letters and i'm going to place this one I think in the middle over here and just dab it and I get the other one and very easily and I place it on another I think I'm going to turn this one again like this do it on top of here and make sure that we have everything in the mud pots and I'm going to place this one, but a little bit out of the book. This way. And now, 
for me he is already full enough but if you like more pictures go ahead go crazy and do uh, whatever you think it's right and you also can do the back side i'm not doing the back side because i always like the front side so i'm going to do the bigger book also and then we're going to do some furniture bags and maybe i give this a uh, little uh, picture with my smaller brush and on also on the top side a little shiny look like this and this uh, whole picture so that it gives a little bit more of a darker uh, rustic look i finished up both of my books what we still need to do is the last uh, step and that is of course some furniture wax but if you did painted already then you are finished but i'm uh, still using my furniture wax and i'm again i'm using two pieces of uh, brushes because a smaller one for around the little uh, pictures and the uh, of course the bigger one for the rest of my book but i'm going to start around the picture and you already know it changes by the minute if it gives just a nice rustic look so i will, will finish both of the books up and then you finally see the uh, end uh, impression This DIY we need of course our tumbling towel blocks again some wood glue some mud podge some scissors some markers some cutters and of course some brushes if you use your glue gun you need your hot glue and of course some paint at your choice and a print and I use this print for this time again this is three high so we are going to make a stacking sign so we will see how this will turn out and you see already on my table is already the three blocks of three this way i just glue three of them together and i have four of them this way it's very easy just do one this side one on this side and one closure up with this side i don't know what happened but my camera fell down on the, on the table and you were gone <laughs> you were totally gone <laughs> so this is what i made so this one and this one for the feet of our stand and if you use the smaller blocks it's also three blocks and again the same square uh, i made over here of course it will be a little bit smaller but you are also easier to place it somewhere but this one is a little bit bigger because i use the bigger blocks so i wipe away the glue we don't need and i'm going to let it dry in for a couple of minutes so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to do some glue on the inside of this block over here and just this way. And I'm going to place this one on top in the middle. Very easy. Make sure that you have it in the middle. Squeeze and press a little. And we're going to let this dry in. What we're going to do now, we're also going to make a little square, but we're going to do it in a different way. We're going to do in the standing up way so this way squeeze it press it we're doing some glue on this side because we need a stand where we can place our signs on and on this on this side and we're going to do some glue on this ending and of course on the ending of this side so you see over here oh here and of course on this side and now we easily can squeeze it in and we have a nice square this way we're going to squeeze it press it together and we're going to make i think three or four and even if you use the smaller blocks you also can use this one and you see i made five of the blocks and what i'm going to do i'm just going to row them together to, until one standard of course i'm going to do some glue over here and i'm going to place it down and of course, I'm going to glue this one. 
and I'm going to do already first on this one also a little bit of glue and we're going to place it down and we make it together in one piece and this way and now we also do some glue on this uh, one also a little round and we're going to place it and of course I did it already on the wrong side but it doesn't matter <laughs> we got to do some glue over here see already crafting is always making mistakes and just challenge yourself to do it better and we're going to do it for this one over here just a little round and place it against each other and we're going for the last one of course we have to turn this one over and we are going to squeeze it and we don't need glue for this one and we have one straight line and we're going to let this dry in and you see in the meantime while this is drying i'm going to get my print and i'm going to cut out the pieces i need so i do that out of camera because or else it takes much too long so i did have uh, my prints over here what i'm going to do i'm going to make the little uh, signs which we are going to use for under it so i'm going to do nine blocks this is four five six seven eight nine for the bigger one and very easy just glue them together and number four number five number six number seven and the last number eight and number nine is the closure up and this will squeeze it press it down and make a nice straight line and this is already one of course we have to be sure that we have it in a straight line we're going to wipe away the glue and we're going to get for eight blocks five six seven and eight and very easy again and this is a number two number three four five six and number seven and eight is the closure up again and again we're going to squeeze it in press it down and make sure that we have a nice straight line and we're going to do the other one and this will be seven See already my pieces are over here what do we need but before i'm going to glue it i'm going to paint everything i have for the tops i have different sizes i have an ending for this i have this one or this one i don't know which one i like the best i think i'm going to go for this one so if you find them in a in a store always buy wooden pieces endings because it's always so much fun to end your um, DIY on top with something like this. So if you find it, just go over it and take it with you because it's always nice to have. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give mine a, a little bit of a sandy color like this. So you can easily see how the DIY is turned out. But give it your own twist because every uh, home decor is different. So my paint is dried up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mud patch the top of the front of my uh, uh, yeah, sign. So how you call it. It's just a little plank uh, I make as a sign. So I'm going to do some mud patch. I try not to do it on the side, only on the front side. So very easy this way, but I think you already know how to mud patch your piece. So I'm just going to tell you, but you can do it the way you think it's right. I'm going for the smaller one and I'm going to place it in the middle and make sure that I don't get mud parts on top of my picture because I don't want that. So I'm going to do all three of them. going to take our middle piece of our stand and before we glue everything together I'm going to look where oh, I want to have my little signs of course you can go for this way and this way or maybe also a little bit sideways and this like this I think you can go for this but of course you can also go for this way 
and just make your own way in it what you think it's right you could also do this one straight i think i like that also this one i think a little bit sideways and this way i think i'm going to glue everything this way together so i did turn them over and now i'm going to do a little glue on the knob of course without the <laughs> without my knot of course this doesn't work <laughs> oh this way and i'm going to do some wood glue and i'm going to place it on the top over here and i'm going to keep it in place for a couple of minutes and here you see already a little bit how this sign is turned out and i am really happy with the result the only thing we need to do we need to glue it on the stand but you see in a moment the quick impression our tumbling towel blocks we need uh, some uh, white chalk paint of course at least i choose it for white uh, some glue sticks some brush and of course our glue gun my glue gun if you want to know is from the lidl or lidl just how you call it he's only uh, 18 euros so and he's a wireless so it's a very nice one to have so that's uh, some information you also got from me so for now this is what we do need for our little houses we are going to start with the under piece of our house and what we're going to do we are going to do three blocks like this on top of each other so just do the smaller side with some glue and of course i use my glue gun but you can use some wood glue it doesn't matter like this and we are going to make uh, for this uh, little house because we're going to make it in different sizes like this we are going to make seven pieces seven first of three like this and of course remove your glue immediately like this and also don't forget the size because the size you later in your house you will see it so we will do this three together and then i will do the rest a little bit faster and i think a lot of you already love seeing me do, do, doing things a little bit faster so so my hands go a little bit and i don't talk too much so i am already making number three and now i'm going to do the rest in a moment our six pieces of three and you saw me uh, at pulling off one of the pieces and i will show you why because i will lay it next to each other and then you see already he is so much smaller than the other blocks i hope you can see it this way maybe is this better you see already he was so much smaller so then we get a nice pro a great problem when we are going to glue this together what we're going to do we are going to glue all seven on top of each other and you can do it with some uh, glue from your glue gun but you also can do it with some uh, wood glue i will take some wood glue before i am going to wood glue it of course i checked out and i lay them just on top of each other like this uh, without the glue because i want to be sure uh, the way i want to have it if i have to turn around some pieces or maybe uh, some whoa something is fitting a little bit better the other way you have to go uh, work a little bit with your uh, blocks to see which parts are gluing the best on top of each other like this i think i am going for this size and of course you have to squeeze it real hard and squeeze them in so we are going to do some wood glue like this very easy i think everyone already knows how to glue these parts together of course you don't have to use a lot of glue we are going to just to build it up like this and build it up and do and like this and build it up together like this and of course this is not <laughs> not, to, not really the way to do it properly but it saves a lot of time just do it this way <laughs> to go 
this like this and then build it up and then we're going to get it like this and we are going to squeeze it together like this and keep it in place for a couple of minutes until it is uh, dried in for a little bit because wood glue is always have to dry in for a little moment and if it does come out a little bit it doesn't matter because uh, wood glue is drying up clearly so don't worry you see already our little uh, <laughs> first part of our house is drying under my uh, container of paint because it's really heavy what we're going to do right now we are going to do the roof and for the roof we are going to take first uh, four blocks and we are going to glue them together like this this way and squeeze it and press it down and we're going to do the third one like this and of course squeeze it again press it down like this and we're going to do for a number four like this and we're going to place it against each other like this this is one and now we're going for one of three and we are going to build up our roof this is already one and now we're going for the second one of our blocks and again squeeze it press it down and now you already have one of three we are going for one of two like this and of course the one loose so we have one four th four three two one and now we are going to build them of course also but again look which one is um, fitting better on top of each other maybe this way or maybe another way it doesn't matter but take a little bit of your time just to watch which part is uh, better on top of each other and also feel you see i feel a little piece of glue sticking out and that really makes a different size of your blocks because it comes a little bit high so be take a little bit of your time and just look for uh, which is better like this and now we already you see we have already a top of our roof and of course if you want to do it especially you also can do one of the blocks uh, in the length in half and it can also be in the middle still here so you also have one in the middle so you get your roof also a little bit higher so i checked out the house and now i'm going to glue also this part on top of each other so but i'm going to do this one of course a little bit different because or else everything will <laughs> run out of glue and that's not what we want like this and we're going to do this one if you have questions and you don't understand uh, all what i'm saying just please let me know in the comments down below what you really want to know because i would love to answer your question because i understand that sometimes um my words are not always the same words that you use in uh, english so but let me just know in the comments down below if you um, want to know something so uh, and you also can ask me anything if you at least if you want to know something else it's also fine to to ask me in the comments down below so again also for this one we are going to let it dry for a couple of minutes we have here our two parts of our houses and what we're going to do we are going to glue of course this one on top of here if you want to give the roof another color then you have to uh it's better that you paint it first and paint this one if you want to paint both of them in different colors but if you don't and you want everything in the same color then of course you can glue it on top of here also uh, using some wood glue or maybe also the glue from your um, a glue gun or maybe e6000 or what you will use like this and i'm just keeping it a little bit in the middle like this and i'm going to like this lay it against each other like this and i will show you in a moment but i let it dry also again a couple of minutes and so we can build uh, a whole village with <laughs> little houses for this little house we use a 31 block so it's the half of a pa package uh, i have here from 60 so it's not too much it's uh, the, so you can start with little houses and we are going to now for a little bigger one for our bigger house we are going to start again with 
uh, a block of three, like we just did with the smaller house. So it's very easy. Everything right now is so easy. Everyone can do it like this. I'm going to do a couple of them again like this. This is one and this is two. And of course, if you have a house you made also from tumbling tile blocks, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see it. And if maybe you can even uh, take a picture and email it to me. And it doesn't have to be for uh, a house, but you also can, whatever you made from blocks, I would love to see what you made. And then maybe I can show it on my community post. Maybe you like that. So let me know in the comments down below if you made also a couple of DIYs and do you want to make a picture out of it? Of course, you don't have to do it. It's just, of course, on free, free base. You don't have to do anything. So, but I, would, uh, I am always so curious what um, other creators are making because at least we all are creators. If you do it for in front of a camera or you do it behind the camera, Everyone is a creator on his own and always makes the most beautiful things because everyone has their own taste and um, yeah, it's taste for decor. I always say nothing is right or wrong like this. And this is already number, uh, I think number six. I will do the rest out of camera because we are going to make 11 pieces of three. And so that means in totally for this bigger house of higher house, we are going to use 41 blocks. our 11 pieces of our wood so we stack them together and I'm going to glue them the same way like I did with the smaller houses while our block is already drying and of course wood glue is always taking a little bit longer than your uh, glue gun of course we are going to make first again our roof and for the roof i am keeping the same measurement because i like the uh, measurement because i don't want to have a too bigger uh, roof but of course if you want to go a little bit wider with your roof just do one block extra i do four for the underside but then you're going to do five and then four three two and one and i'm going for four three two and one but of course it's up to you which uh, kind of roof you want to have and that means also with this one i did three uh, rows of uh, three but uh, uh, at least 11 rows of three blocks, but you can also do an extra block over here with, uh, that you make four blo blocks. So you can choose anything you like. You can make it as big, as small, as whatever you like. That's the great thing about this kind of blocks. You can change it up any way you like. So go ahead with your fantasy and make the one you want to make and not which one I make because I don't know how your home is looking like or what your taste will be. And I say everyone's taste is unique. And this and the last one and the loose one. Now we're going to go again, place it on the side like this. And we're going to look for which is fitting the best and doesn't have gaps in between. That's what we're looking for. We don't want to have gaps. And you see, I have some glue over here. You see immediately when you have some glue uh, pulling out here, then your blocks don't stand like this and I'm going to feel also the size if I am correct and the blocks don't have any glue on it so like this and what I'm going to do again I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to place again some wood glue over here and it's very easy just again sometimes it looks very <laughs> 
<laughs> very chaotic. I understand. I am chaotic. But like this. And now we're going to do the last one. I always say bear with me because I'm always a little bit crazy, especially when, <laughs> when I'm DIYing. It's most of the time one big mess on my table also. So, but of course, the main part is <laughs> that you see what I make and I hope you enjoy it. That's, I think, the most part. So I keep it in place for a couple of minutes again and then we're going to build this one also together. I let it dry in a couple of minutes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to look for if my roof is fitting nicely on top of here and he does so what i'm going to do i'm going to do again like i did with this smaller one do some wood glue or e6000 or uh, gorilla glue just what you want and just place also the roof on top of here just in the middle of the blocks you made like this and that also we let dry for a couple of minutes what i you see already the houses are finished this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one we just made and of course i made one extra uh, for myself because i like three of them but you can choose anything you like but i made one extra but this other one we just uh, made what we're going to do because you see the tops like this and i think he is not really finished off as a house so I did took some couple of the uh, blocks and I did cut them in half. You see, this is one block, but I did cut it with my jigsaw in half. And you can use also a hand saw. It doesn't matter what you use. And I'm going to glue it on top of here. So it gives at least still more looking like a real home. So I'm going to glue this. We are going to, of course, some I use for this one. I use what simple uh, glue for my glue gun and of course glue it in the middle like this and squeeze it and press it down like this and I think he looks a little bit nicer with the such a half on top of here at least it thins it is off a little bit more but of course you are free to do you don't have to do it like this and I'm going to look for if I have it in the middle like this you see also the little smart one looks a little bit nicer with such a little small one on top and i will do the last because i did this one extra but i am really happy that i did now i can make a little village out of it and again place it on top like here and of course i have to squeeze it and press it down like this and again now we have two smaller one and one for in the middle a bigger one and we also can do if we want to make a little church we can do the same uh, half like this do on the sides like here and we can make a little church out of it but that's an idea maybe for later you never know so now we're going to do decorate our little house for my houses normally i would do them in some furniture wax and i am really loving furniture wax so i'm really tempted <laughs> to do the furniture wax but I will give it another <laughs> chance and I'm going to try for some white chalk paint. So I just did some easy and very cheap chalk paint. Of course, he is covering most of the time in one layer, but you never know. But I'm not going to paint it totally. I'm just going to get some paint, dab it off like this on a piece of kitchen towel. And then I'm going to just distressing it little pieces, not everything. It's just little spaces so it gets a nice little bit of an at least still wood is coming through so this is my choice but you can paint it totally you know whatever you want you can go as all the way you like so i'm just going to give it a distressed look like this and just the size not everything has to be painted like this and of course i will do all three of the houses are turned out this way the big one and the smaller one and i painted them a little bit wider than my first intention was because i liked it a little bit better when he was a little bit more white but of course at your choice 
what I'm going to do, I take a piece of a rope like this, and you see, this is a little bit of the, he's not really a big one, a little bit of the smaller one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my front of my house, and I take this like this, keep a piece over, and I'm going to keep it in the front, and I'm going to go a couple of times totally under the house like this. But of course you can do it a little bit lower if you like that a little bit better. Uh, try not to do it as uh, neat as you can, just a little bit. Um, how do you say that? Uh, at least not uh, really uh, smooth, but just a little bit rough. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English. At least you know what I mean. <laughs> like this a couple of times and then I'm going to go over here, cut off a little piece of the twine like this. Place it away and we are going to make a simple uh, bow over here because we are just going to the way you tie your shoes. But we do it on the side like this and then make a little bow and squeeze it like this. And of course make sure that the endings are coming down a little bit like this. You see here, it's very simple, but you also can do it a little bit lower if you like that also. But I'm going to cut off the ends because the tails, for me, I don't want them to have too long. And of course, my scissor is not the best. <laughs> it takes a little bit longer, like this. And I have to be sure that my tails are going the sides. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take... A little wasp pin, and this is a wasp pin for decoration, but you also can use a little bit of a bigger one. But I hope you have um, one with some wood. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place in one line, I'm going to squeeze in my wasp pin like this. You see over here, we have him on the side. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little tag like this i um, bought them um, this one in an um, of course in a hobby shop if you call it a hobby hobby, <laughs> hobby shop with lots and lots of this kind of things and this was only if i am correct 60 cents so this little package was very cheap i'm going to take one out of it and of course this tag is for this house it uh, is possible because this house is a little bigger but for the smaller house i take uh, cut out a little piece and then you can write on top of here what you want you can hello spring you can uh, be kind uh, you can do some little bees around here you can decorate it any way you like this is just a base so i think i'm going for the whole card for this size and maybe i Cut out a little piece, like this maybe, like this, and I'm going to cut out the, and I think I leave this side also on, so I'm going to do, of course, what will I write, uh, I have to think about it a little more, <laughs> I made up my mind, I did for welcome home, and I'm going to place this on top of here so everyone can see it already i will do the second home and the third home and then you'll see uh, of course the end why we need of course our tumbling tower blocks i have a piece of old uh, uh plank of tumbling tower blocks because you see already i did cut out something so this one is all very old and i'm going to make of course also something of of it i'm going to need some a ribbon and i have the black and the red but choose any color i have my glue gun of course i have my wood glue my mud podge my paint at my choice i have my little bucket with some uh, markers cutters scissors and some brushes and we need of course a new print and i am going to use this print for hot cocoa so you will see that in a moment but for now this is what we need for this diy we are going to start a little bit different because we are going to start with cutting our a little sign of course i'm going to cut it off with the 
thicker black uh, line. And of course, also this uh, print you can find in the free printable. So go ahead, check it out in our description box. Of course, I'm going to cut it out, but I'm going to do it a little bit faster. see already i am really loving the black line around it of course you see it backwards don't worry this is just my telephone of course i'm going to take my blocks and i'm going to place nine blocks in a row so this is uh five six seven eight nine and very easy i'm just going to glue them together and this way, of course, I should have done this one also before I forget it. And this one, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight, because number nine is the closure up. Again, this way, make a nice straight line, squeeze it together, press it down, and make a nice straight line. And this way and just let it dry in for a couple of minutes and we're also going to do one of two so again glue two together only this way we're going to place it together squeeze it press it down and make a nice straight line again and this is already also and now we're going to do again nine blocks four five six seven eight nine so if everything is correct, we have the same, <laughs> same numbers. And you see, number two is gluing together. And number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. And number nine is again the closure up. Squeeze it. And this way, and make a nice straight line again this way and we're going to let this dry in like i said for a couple of minutes so what are we going to do we're going to place this carefully of course you see already it still is a very <laughs> light that it can go uh, out of each other but it doesn't matter don't worry about it because everything glues together in a moment so don't worry just do some glue on all the blocks we're going to place it down this way and we're going to squeeze all of them together like one plank this way so very easy just make a nice straight line of all of them and we're going to let this dry in and what we're going to do we're going to take three blocks because we want of course that our sign can stand up and you see i think already probably what it will turn out it will turn out like a cutting board but a cutting board you can have its own stand so I'm going to glue three blocks together this way and we're going to let this dry in also. We are going to do some glue on the two blocks. We do some glue over here and we are going to place it exactly in the middle, which is very easy to do because the line is over here. So this one is very easy to do. And now it already looks more and more like a cutting board. And this way. And for everyone who uses the smaller blocks, of course, the cutting board I made is uh, 12 blocks and you make three rows of 12, glue them together and you already have this plank. For the handle, we are going to do uh, two times three blocks, glue them together like one and then glue them over here. And for the stand, I, would, I use three of the bigger blocks, but I would go for four blocks and two rows. And then you can place your cutting board the same like I'm going to do in a moment on the side. So this is the measurement of the smaller blocks. So before I'm going to mud board my print on top and I make a little hole over here because a cutting board always has a little hole where we can do a little piece of uh, a rope or a ribbon, something you want. I'm going to paint it in the scent color, but like I always say, choose any color you like. So I'm going to go for this color. So I will do it a little bit faster. You see our paint is almost dry what i'm going to do i'm going to get my mud podge and i'm going to do the top with some mud podge 
but everyone can mod podge the way they want to. I'm going to try to keep it with the same like I do with all my DIYs on the top. So it is a little bit of a task because the plank is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. It takes a little bit more of your time. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing it as fast as I can. And this way, of course, I don't. So I'm going to do it this way and I'm going to glue it and try to get it in the middle of our plank. And again, work from the inside to the outside. And I'm always trying not to get mud parts on top of my print because I like the uh, matte finishing. So this way, I'm going to let this dry in and then I only need to make a little hole and with some ribbon. And then this DIY is also done. And you see a quick impression in a moment. And you see, <laughs> you see already, I was saying we're going to do the quick impression, but you see already, I still have my little <laughs> stand on the here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this on the side. And of course, I'm going to do some glue on the underside very carefully. Just do a little line of glue. So very easy, just little pieces. And I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to place it exactly in the middle. And I hope I have it in the middle this way and I'm going to squeeze and press it down and I'm going to let this uh, dry in for a couple of minutes but now you see really the quick impression. We need, of course, our thumbnail tower blocks in any size because they are most of the time two different sizes. These are a little bit of the bigger ones. I use a brush, uh, a black pencil, of course, some glue sticks, some uh, white chalk paint, but of course you can choose any color you like. I have my glue gun, I have my wood glue, and I have my furniture wax. These are the main pieces we are going to need because we are going to make a calendar, but of course always with a twist on it. So we will see how this will turn out. It probably will be a chaos, but, <laughs> but we will see how this will turn out. The first thing what we are going to need, we are going to build two cubes. At least I call them cubes here in the Netherlands, and I think you call them, uh, this will be a, a bison, if I am correct, you call it. We call it here in the Netherlands a double stain. So it's a little bit harder, a double stain. So that's a little bit different like you call it. And we are going to make four of three, but eventually we need six of three. So I'm going to do one together with you and the rest I will do a little bit faster. So this is already number two. And you see already I have here some glue on. Take your time and also remove the glue because you will have a lot of um, fun with your um, DIY if you are removing the glue because it gives a nicer look to your. And even when you have to paint it later, it looks much better if you remove the glue. But of course, you this kind of glue, you most of the time have this with your glue gun. If you have a different glue, then you don't have it uh, as much as uh, I have it with my glue gun. Because if I use wood glue, I have it a lot less. But this is uh, much faster and easier. And the Dyson doesn't have too much power on it so you only write some numbers on it so you don't it has to doesn't have to be this study and now we're going to make our last one and i see already i have a new glue stick and i have to be fast or else my glue already dried up and number three you see how easy is this now we're going to do like we do a lot of times. I do some glue on the side and I'm going to build my own little square. A lot of you who are here already for a long time 
know already how I build my squares like this and we are going to go for this one and I'm not going to do it on the side like here no I'm going to I should have done it this way so now I'm going to have to do it this way I almost ruined my own little square but probably you already would <laughs> did see it so it's always only a fair thing that you couldn't uh, warn me in front <laughs> This is not even Monday and it is already one big chaos. I'm so sorry for everyone who is looking right now and is thinks, what a crazy lady is this. <laughs> and they are probably right. And we are going to glue this together like this. And now we get a nice square. We are going to take this one and we are going to glue it on top of here. But I'm going to do that with some wood glue because... Uh, it dries um, less fast than my glue gun because before I have everything on top of here, my glue is from well, my glue gun is already dried up. So I'm going to go for this just around the side like this, and just place your one on top and try to get it in the middle. The only thing which is a little bit harder, it has still needs to dry a little bit longer. So I'm going to do this way. And I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to place it this way. And now I'm going to do some glue on this side around the same like we did with the other one. Like this. And we are going to place this one exactly in the middle. And then we're going to give it a paint uh, can on top of it for the pressure and then he can dry. So you see, I showed you very closely like this. You see already I have a paint can on top of it to <laughs> give it some pressure. I'm sorry, you are getting very dizzy. <laughs> I'm going to do the second uh, cube. I'm going to do with uh, some uh, fast forward because or else you get very bored with me. going to make the back side of the base of our cal calendar box and this will be nine blocks in a row and we are going to do that of course two times so this is already the first of the two rows and try and squeeze it down so we get a flat uh, back side because we want to have it as flat as possible even when the blocks are not always doing what we want them to do, <laughs> to do but of course we have to work with it and like this and of course I use uh, the little squares for uh, like a Dyson Dyso Dyso I think that's correct but let me know or else I have to look it up on Google but you can also buy them of course in the store but i want to make everything from tumbling tile blocks so you everyone can easily make them uh, if they want to and don't have to make more cost than only your blocks and maybe you can also find this kind of tumbling tile blocks in the drift store and i have three four five uh, three six seven and now eight and nine this is already number eight and number nine. Yum! <laughs> this is just the day that you would say, I just rather it was better I stayed in bed. <laughs> because everything, really everything is going wrong today. I don't know what it is and how it is possible, but 
every time I turn on my camera, everything is falling, is going wrong. You imagine, but probably maybe you also have it with some DIYs that one day everything goes better than another day. But with me is always a little bit of chaos. So, but that's just me. And number five. And like this and a number six and then we already have almost the back side of our first piece of the box and, and we still need two and I'm going to attach them both I think this time also with some uh, wood glue because I want to make sure that our box is not falling apart because you use it a lot because you are every time you're turning the numbers so I don't want that my uh, piece is falling apart so I'm going to take both of the pieces and I'm always going to look for which one is fitting the best to each other because sometimes if you turn it over you see uh, this one is fitting better or this side is fitting better it's just just look what the right way is I think this will be okay so I'm going to take my wood glue again and I take my time just to glue the back side like this and just lay it against each other and again let it dry and if you do it with a heater it's a little bit faster dried our back side is drying we are now going to make the top and the bottom but how easy do you want to have it? This will be the same like we did, we did with the, uh, the back side. So we are going to make four rows of nine. So very easy, just like I did with the other one. I'm not going to do it totally together with you because then it will be a very boring uh, DIY. So I'm going to show you in a moment all the pieces. did the back side the uh, top and the bottom of our box we will make and we are going to make now the sides and of course we made of our cubes and I think I called it Daiso but it is I think I looked it up in Google and it says for double stain it says die or dice so correct me if I'm wrong so this is what Google saying so but I just call them cubes <laughs> It's a better word. What we're going to do, we are going to make the sides, and it will be five pieces like this. And number three. So you can see English and Dutch are sometimes uh, a little bit alike, but in other words, they are totally different. And it's sometimes the Dutch language is a little bit familiar for her, that it is a hard um, language to learn. So, because but I don't know if it's really correct the, that way, but be, I'm also speaking because I'm uh, born in a, here in the Netherlands, we call it a, a provincie, that means Friesland. So, we are also speaking another language besides Dutch. So, uh, it's a little bit confusing, <laughs> confusing sometimes. So I'm going to make the second one like this. And number three. And number four. And number five and also this we are going to do with some wood glue and we are going to glue it together but first I'm going to make the other two parts also because we need two sides so I'm going in this one will be glued together and the other two will also be glued together 
I have all four pieces of our side panel. I'm just going to take the same like we did with the back side, the bottom and the top. Just do some wood glue, just lay it together. And of course, do a little bit of uh, pressure on top of here. And I'm just going to use this can. And again, a little bit on here. And we are going to lay also this one against each other, squeeze it and give it some pressure. And I also have another can like this and we let it dry again. We are already almost there. We only need two pieces of uh, eight blocks and you see already our uh, dies. We have our uh, back side, the front side, uh, uh, top side and underside and of course our side panels. And it looks already like one, uh, here we call it a bow packet, but already like long package with some uh, <laughs> DIY inspiration. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make, like I said, the last pieces. And these are two pieces of eight blocks. I think you need for this DIY uh, two packets of uh, blocks. And then you can make this calendar box. And of course, for me, it's also a little bit trying out how it will turn out. But that's the great thing what you have. You uh, can just look how it is made and you can easily make your, make your own. I just figure it out and I always love showing you how it's made. Not everyone loves that, of course, but you can skip forward if you don't want to see how it is made. If it just is boring to you. You don't have to uh, look at this because maybe then this is not something for you because if you like fast and um, uh, fast and yeah, how you tell it at least the DIYs are more DIYs in the short uh, time then maybe uh, other channels are something for you but of course I hope you enjoy this and you enjoy also seeing how it is made of course number eight I have to be and this is number eight. So we are going to make two from this one. Now we are getting a really difficult part. And this will probably be one big mess because, <laughs> because I need to work with my uh, wood glue and it doesn't glue it once. And uh, maybe everything will fall apart. So we will see how this will turn out. But bear with me, even when it looks like a mess, maybe later on it will, <laughs> it will turn out okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to take the sides. And this side and of course this side and we are going to do the other side also over here so uh, I don't really know how I'm going to get it everything together but we will see how this will turn out you see already this is one chaos <laughs> I placed the part uh, with uh, five blocks on top of each other I place it over here like this this is a side panel we are going to take a back side and I'm going to do some wood glue on the side like this and I'm going to place it against this side like this and I have to work with it so we have a nice nice straight line like this and I keep it in place for a little moment I have to look that I did glue it next to each other like this so now I let this dry also a couple of minutes until it is setting uh, on then I'm going to take another panel the bigger one and I'm going to glue it again also on this side the same way and then let it dry also then I take my piece of the eight blocks so the eight blocks on top of each other and i will place them in here and i show that to you in a moment but first let this dry the one with the five uh, pieces and the one with the, the nine pieces just in the in just an angle and let it dry and i'm going to do also on this side i'm going to do also some wood glue over here and place it on this side against the other side the same way like we did with the other and again we let it dry for a couple of 
minutes again. So I let this set in for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to take the piece with eight on top of each other. That will be the middle piece. And we are going to look at the side panel. The side panel is one of five. And in the first one and the second one, in between these two, I'm going to place the side of this one. So I'm going to do some glue on here. I have to look if I am doing it okay. Because when it's once glued, we can't do it another time. We're just going to squeeze it in and just place it in the first and the second one. Like this. And we let it dry also. Now I'm going to take the side panel. And of course I have to do it inside of here and on top of here. So I'm going to do on the side, on both of them, I'm doing some glue. And on this side also. And on this side. Like this. And I'm going to try to place it inside here. Of course, it's a little bit of work, but at the end, it will come okay. Like this. So we get a nice box. Of course, we have to work a little bit with it. And don't worry, everything will be okay. And we let it dry for a couple of hours. You see, I let it dry. I did now some wood glue on this side, on the tops. And we are going to place the back side over the complete uh, box. So very easy. Just try to get him as even as you can. Just let him fall off like this. And just even this. Let it dry at least also for an hour, one and a half hour. In the meantime, while our box is dry, we are going to make a front, which we will have calendar on top of here. This will be three blocks, it's just the tops, and just glue them together like this. And we are going to do a third one. And I see already, I hope that I don't see it right, that these sizes already are changed. When you look at it, you see, that's always the sad thing that sometimes the sizes are not matching in one package together. So I have three of them and this will be the front. So we are going to paint this one later in the black color. So this is another part we already have finished. And what we need right now, we need some blocks which are, uh, the this one are for the numbers and we have uh, the some for the months so of January, February, March, April, April. So we are going to make two blocks to each other like this. And we are going to make six of them because on each side we can do um, one month. So this is already one. So we make six of this one. You see the front panel and the six for our month. And of course the six uh, pieces of our month will be on top of our box. So we need a little cover over for our box. So like this, we just very simple going to make it. And these pieces are totally fitting inside of here on the top. So it's, it's very easy. Just glue two together and uh, one uh, pieces on the side. And then you have the coverage for on top of your box. And then your month can easily fall inside of here like this so then we have all the pieces except we don't need have the legs where he can stand on but that we do as the last finishing touch but in a moment we are going to paint it i'm going to do my cubes in some uh, chalk paint white but of course if you like them um, maybe in the black color with some uh, white letters is also fine but i love a little bit of the white and i don't do it completely in the white just a little uh, piece and just leave over some a little of the uh, wood color just very easy just go over it a couple of times and you still see the wood through it like this and of course don't forget the sides so our cubes are already dried up and i am really loving the distressed white 
what we're going to do because also for this one we are going to make the prints with the numbers on top of here and later on you can find them also in the free printables so and of course i will do a print on top of here with uh, probably it's something from calendar box or something else this will be in front of here and this is already the opening like this and here will be the month of the year this six of them they exactly can fit inside of here I have to work with it because, of course, only when, always when my, <laughs> when my camera is running, they don't fit. Of course, I have to get them inside. This is already too. And of course, I want to do it too fast, like this. And if you imagine, this is in front and then our two cubes uh, inside. So, But first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint, uh, I'll do everything in the furniture wax. And these are the prints I made for our calendar box. Of course, I'm going to cut uh, all of them out. I did a couple extra. So maybe <laughs> if I did uh, cut wrong, so I always have someone <laughs> some extra. You see, I have the numbers, the month, and of course, uh, the print for the front. So like I said, you can find it in our free print printables under the little stitch of farmhouse there you find this print so go check it out and of course if you want to use it just use it for your DIY you see already I did cut out everything and I lay them on our blocks this is the two to now <laughs> the two pieces blocks and of course our calendar farmhouse calendar uh, this was one with the three blocks and I did a uh, the print on top of it and I think you already know how to mod podge it on top of your um, uh, piece of um, tablet towel block what I'm going to do I uh, let it dry and now I'm going to go with a little pencil with some furniture wax I'm going to color it in the br brown rustic color because if I do it earlier then my print wouldn't stick on it because wax is uh, always a little bit um, yeah how do you call it sticky and then your uh, print doesn't uh, stay in place on here so that's why I'm going to do it and I need a very uh, small little pencil brush like this so I will finish this up and in a moment you see endly the reveal of our uh, farmhouse calendar I almost forgot to show you of course we are going to do our little uh, block on top of here uh, and it says farmhouse calendar and I'm just going to give it a dot of glue on this side and a dot of glue on this side that's more than enough and I'm going to place it exactly in the, the middle like this and keep it in place for a couple of seconds until it is dried up of course and now we I can really see the, the quick impression I made right now and 